Are we live? Are we live? Seems good. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Bug champ indeed. Uh, so let's continue with oxygen not included. And where were we? We've got our pretty good water reservoir. Uh, pretty good electrolysis area. Uh, some dodgy farms. Some hydro farm that we're not yet ready to grow bristle blossom in. We've done a bunch of exploring. Uh, we've got iron. Ooh, if I remember correctly, we've got iron, copper, volcano, um, and salt slush, is it? It's not cool, I'm pretty sure. Salt water geyser, yeah, so that's one more, uh, one more water source. We've got a cool steam vent over here as well. Not too bad. And I'm just trying to figure out where to put the industrial area that I've been designing. Probably up here. I think I was already getting ready to build it up here. Um, now, the final version of what I've got in mind... We're going to have five tiles tall for the room with all the industrial stuff. Uh, and above that, a three-tile tall room for a steam turbine or two. And the industrial room itself is going to be a steam room. So we're going to need uh, Atmo suits to go in there. We're going to need... Uh, some of the buildings to be made out of steel. Most of them we can actually make out of ceramic... Um, to deal with the heat, but um, but yeah, it's going to be relatively expensive up front. I'm going to do a passive cooling loop um, for, for the metal refineries using crude oil and, or I could use petroleum. Petroleum's basically crude oil, but slightly better. As far as coolants go. Um, I, I ran some experiments in Sandbox earlier today. You can indeed use a metal refinery um, to heat up crude oil until it becomes petroleum. The only trouble is uh, when it changes state from crude oil to petroleum, even though it's liquid to liquid, uh, it will cause the pipes to burst. So maybe not what we're looking for. Um, but yeah, potentially if you want a cheapish, um, coolant, you could put petroleum in instead of crude oil. Uh, the specific heat capacity is slightly different, 1.69 versus 1.76, a little bit higher. Thermal conductivity is exactly the same, and the temperature range is wider. Negative 40 to 400 versus negative 57 to 538. Um, so yeah, petroleum is the same or slightly better in every way as far as coolants go. Um, now you wouldn't want to run either of these through a thermal aqua tuner. Um, because the way they work is they'll drop the temperature of 10 kilograms of liquid down by 14 degrees, no matter how high its specific heat capacity is. Um, and the excess uh, heat, it will... The, the machine itself will get hotter. Um, so it's far more electrical, uh, electrically efficient to, uh, to run water, for example, um, through a thermo aqua tuner, because the specific heat capacity is much higher. I'm going to be using polluted water actually is slightly better in terms of temperature range. 
but I'm going to be using water basically um, to do some active cooling of the steam turbine. But for the metal refineries, we're just going to use passive cooling, whereby we just let the oil loop around in a room that is cooler than the oil is going to be. Um, and that's going to be the steam room, which will cool with the uh, the steam turbine. Um, and so, yeah, the specific heat capacity, really not as important in that case. Far more concerned about the temperature range when it comes to running stuff through the metal refinery. We also did some experiments um, at the end of the last stream, where we put a metal refinery in a room. Uh, basically, we, we did a recipe or two with a metal refinery, so we had a bunch of hot liquid inside it, um, where its own input is linked to its own output. Uh, so water or something would go in, we'd run a recipe or two, and hot, uh, hotter water would come out and then go back in. So right now we've currently got 800 kilo of water at 41.5 degrees Celsius. Um, now one would think if we just leave this for a while, it'll eventually cool down. Uh, one would be wrong. Even if this metal refinery is immersed in a room of very cold hydrogen, hydrogen having the best conductivity um, of any gas, thermal conductivity, which is still quite low compared to other uh, materials. But still, uh, if we put this in a very, very cold room, no matter how long we wait, that 41.5 degrees of temperature for the water here is not going to budge. So this little design here, uh, no matter how patient we are, that's not going to work out. So we're going to decon that. And do I have automation? I do, because I have some... Oh, apparently I have a tiny amount of refined iron. I don't remember where I got that. Uh, in any case, we're just going to do... Let's see. We could actually almost do the same thing as we did here, but with some automation. But unfortunately, we can't put like a liquid pipe thermo sensor and or a shutoff uh, right in front of the refinery. Um, actually, I could just leave this where it is. No, no, I couldn't. No, we need to decon this for starters. I don't remember what this bottle emptier was for. Maybe I was just putting some water here to cool it off faster or something. Okay, so... For our temp refinery setup... Well, first of all, we're going to need a couple of kilns. Um... It's really easy to move these. I'll just put them here for now. We're going to make some ceramic, which we can make the metal refineries out of. I think we did that already. Yeah, we did. Um, how much do we have? 800. Let's see. Metal refinery out of ceramic. Glass forge we're also going to make out of ceramic. So that's 800... Um, plus 800. Oh yeah, I forgot. Because we're getting iron... Uh, because we're getting iron directly... Refined iron directly from a volcano later on, we don't strictly need uh, two metal refineries. But I'll build it anyway, if only so we can go a bit faster sometimes. Uh, let's see. Let us see. So I can afford a, afford exactly one metal refinery right now. I'm going to put it here again. All that accomplished was getting the hot water out of it. 
And then I'm going to build a... I could do it with or without the liquid reservoir, I suppose. But for now, it's probably just easier to use the liquid reservoir. Um, I'll make sure its overheat temperature is a bit higher than 75 degrees. And we need to check... Oh, we might need more room. Um, we'll definitely need more room. Stop, stop, stop. Let's work backward from... Uh, from what we're going to do here. Also, empty that pipe. Oh, no one's got the skills. What temperature is it? 34 degrees. Just decon it. Okay, so I want to leave room for measuring the temperature of water. Where's the input? Up here? Um, how tall is the... it's three tiles tall, right? Good reservoir. Output is down the bottom. Uh... I guess I could probably put it here, and then pipe thermo sensor here, liquid shut off here, and then it goes straight into this. It's a bit awkward. Um, maybe make a little bit more room. I want to make sure I minimize... Well, it's probably not really not going to matter, but I'd like to minimize the distance between the liquid shutoff and the input. So, thermo sensor goes here. We're going to link them together. And we're going to have pipe... Uh, maybe radiant pipe right here. And regular pipe everywhere else should be fine. Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I haven't forgotten your name a dupe reward, but we'll 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 name them when we can fit them. I have named all of these, right? Yes. Yes I have. Okay. Alright, cool. Um, so then, that's our input, that's our output, goes back here, and goes back here. And I'm going to want to add some water to this thing. I'll just do it manually. This is a temporary build anyway. But normally we could add some automation so that we, uh... Keep going until the liquid reservoir has a little bit in it, just to make sure that the pipes are saturated, but there's slack in the system. Okay. Do 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 do. Of course they would do that before the thing that I have to pay attention to. Uh, we've got plenty of bristle blossom seeds, not too worried about that. Decorating, doctoring, building, don't particularly care about this right now. Meowgamin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, I guess I'll t take the blossom seeds. Okay. And we wait. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, someone gonna build this? Mark Schnell, bitte. Oh, 
Well, that was good. Can set this thing now. Uh, so let's see. If we make uh, iron ore to iron, it will raise the temperature of water by only 32.1 degrees. Iron to steel, 56 degrees. Is that the most... I don't, I don't think I'm going to use most of these recipes, but I expect that is the most aggressive recipe. It is. Okay, so let's call it 60 degrees. Um, we absolutely have to make sure the temperature of the water coming in is below 30 degrees. Which, uh, there's a bit more heat up here already than I would have liked to see. I guess it'll have to do. Does this thing produce heat? Nope. Even though it does use up 10 watts. Alright, so if temperature is below 30, we'll let the water through here. And just to be clear, I'll make sure the pipe is not connected there. You can't see it, but there is a radiant liquid pipe here, so it'll exchange heat. Uh, the, the piece of pipe that's getting temperature measured will exchange heat faster with the environment. And I can probably... Maybe I could use the exact same bit of logic that the incoming water has to be cool, relatively cool, um, before we allow the metal refinery to run. And that way I won't have to manually keep track of the temperature here. Alright, so what's our temp? 27 degrees, so it's giving a green signal, which means uh, we've got some water in here. It is at 34 degrees. Uh, what did I say? It was, technically it's actually 56. We're going to pretend it's 60, so 34 plus 60 is still considerably below 100 degrees. Um, so it's not going to flash to steam. Um, I don't know how that water was already in there. It should be dropping temperature a little bit now. Yep, that's fine. So we're not look we're not going to let water in until it is below 30. Um we know the temperature in here will never change while the water isn't moving that is. And that should do. We've got enough for a recipe or two. Um, we do need some lime, not to mean not to mention refined carbon. Uh, I'll just control those manually for now. I do want a bunch of ceramic. We've got practically infinite clay, practically infinite coal as well. Um, you know what? Just just give me like fifty of these, so I don't have to th think of it for a bit. Did you know that t-shirt is short for Tyrannosaurus shirt? Indeed I did. Beep beep beep. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Alright, uh, we also need a rock crusher. I kind of forgot that for the moment. Um, I can't make it out of anything heat resistant, really, until I have steel. Um, you know what? Screw it, I'm going to be a little bit lazy here. Um, we're going to need that to crush 
If not, get some discounted... Well, discounted. The opposite of discounted. Turn 50 iron... 100 iron ore into 50 iron, for example. Um, we're at least going to need it to make lime out of... Uh, out of eggshells and stuff. There it is. Alright, eggshell to lime, do forever. Fossil to lime. Is there any other use for fossil? Nope. It can be used as a construction material. Thermal conductivity 2, specific heat capacity is kind of low. Melting point is kind of high. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to use it as a building material, so we'll turn fossil into lime as well. And we're not going to grind anything into sand. Not on this, uh, this world. Okay. So now... How much have we got? Let's see. Refined iron. I don't believe we have any steel. We've actually got 20 kilograms of iron. Where did I get 20 kilograms? Oh, 20 as in kilograms, not tons. Dub. Yeah, I, I still don't know where I got 20 or 25 kilograms of refined iron. But we certainly don't have steel yet. Nor enough iron to make any steel. So for starters, um, let's just make a ton of iron. And that should go as fast as our heat sinking uh, can keep up with it, which is to say pretty slow. But we won't have to touch it for a little while. Okay, uh, what else are we doing? What's your problem? Repair errand. How did you take damage? Received an incorrect substance. Uh, okay, well... It seems like... That's not gonna happen again. Probably. Detect hydrogen. Uh, filter. So we need five seconds before it activates. And then once it does activate, hold for five seconds. Um, that should be fine. Maybe I could make it a little less aggressive. Maybe it happened right at the start. Can we get these repaired? Just so I don't see those notifications anymore, if nothing else. I forgot these actually give us 800 watts. Um, although once we drop down... Oh, it's only once we empty this gas reservoir that they're going to stop. Um, that's cool. Do we have any batteries on the main bus? I don't think we do yet. Oh, we have at least one. Cool, cool, cool. Um, battery and temperature for some reason. If temperature's below 50 degrees, that makes sense. This is probably made out of lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna need some more batteries somewhere. Evil plot. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, if only so that we can avoid wasting hydrogen. Then again, like, the whole point of this is to avoid an overflow of hydrogen and stop getting oxygen. Alright. 
Uh, we're already exploiting the anti entropy thermo nullifier. That's decor. How did oxygen get in there? No, really. How did oxygen? There's, there's the occasional little bit of oxygen in this loop. It seems to be a consistent problem. How is this happening? I think it must be the way we've got this set up. Alright, let's drop this down to like two seconds. So we have to detect hydrogen at this tile for five seconds, and then we only suck it in for two seconds. Oh, sometimes the oxygen goes higher up here than I would have thought. Hmm. I could maybe measure the air pressure up here. Or I could just put the gas element sensor further down, although I might have to be a bit creative about where that's going to fit. Well, it's not putting any other gas in now. Alright, so this has some oxygen in it. 1.5 kilograms. This has no oxygen in it. Hmm. I guess I could cram a filter in here temporarily. Until that resolves itself. We're going to waste a lot of power on that filter. Oh well, I'd rather do this than have to keep repairing this over and over. And we'll just run some wire up here. And anything that's not hydro hydrogen can get dumped here. Are you wanting help, or do you want to figure out things on my own? Oh, I figure out, figure out things on my own. Subhen, Captain Muller, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. That's getting built kind of quickly. No, it's not. Never mind. Alright, so we're probably making a lot more heat than we would like with our kilns. I should probably not have asked for 50 of each of these. It's it's fine. We've got a coolant loop. It'll sort itself out eventually. Now how do I get the oxygen out of these loops here? Or do I just wait until they do a tiny amount of damage to the hydrogen generators? No, I'd rather not. So let's do another... Probably about here would make sense. Or I could run it through the same filter. Because this goes back here. Yeah, that seems good. Alright. Um, so we're just going to... Bring a pipe down here, and temporarily get rid of this gas bridge once this has been built. And do that today, please. No worries, I won't give hints then. Oh, you're another one of those. Yeah, you're very, very clever, very cool. I haven't seen this before in Oni. Alright, what? I need to set the filter. I hate, I hate, hate, hate how you have to wait until this is built before putting a filter on it. Now we've got hydrogen just in the general atmosphere. It'll eventually find its way up here. We can just pretend we didn't see that. 
Probably. Um, I was gonna say we would... I, I did say we would get rid of this gas bridge, but I may as well just snippy-snip the, uh, the pipe here. And then we won't have to have a dupes rebuild it. Alright, so we'll run that for a lap or two. And it should get rid of all the oxygen in this loop. Um, however, I'm not sure exactly how long it's going to take to get rid of the oxygen in this container. It might be a little while. It might be quite a while, actually. It, uh, hydrogen doesn't get consumed all that quickly by hydrogen generators. Let's see. Does it tell us... 100 grams per second, and we get from one electrolyzer, pretending it would ever run at 100%, um, uptime that is, it's more like 70%, we get, could, could you sit still? 112 grams per second, so two of these should be able to consume all of this quite easily. I, I honestly don't know how we had that big of a stockpile here. We've only got, like, 1.5 kilo of oxygen in here, and we somehow had, like... Okay, so this... This container waits until it's full before we start consuming the hydrogen, and then we consume it until this one's empty. Um, but we've got this container as well, right? But somehow we got to the point where we were, like, 40% full on the second reservoir. Even though these two can greatly outpace um, the electrolyzer. Not sure what's going on there. Um, and I'm not sure... Oh, hey, there it is. We did it. We got rid of the oxygen in that system. Any more in the loop? I should think the loop's been cleansed by now. Cool. And maybe I can be a bit more... We've got like one, two, three tiles. Not really three, but we could definitely go a tile further down or so, detecting hydrogen before we suck some up. Because we keep getting oxygen further up on this side. So I think what we'll do is... Put our gas element sensor down here. Or maybe here. Would make more sense. It's actually just one more tile down. And... We already tweaked the settings on the filter and buffer. But this will be that little bit safer. To make sure we don't suck in any oxygen. How is there polluted oxygen up here? Hurry up and build this one so that I can give it settings. Thank you. Wait, no, that's not... You tricked me. How dare you. And now we can decon this one. Fantastic. Alright, that should prevent any more oxygen from finding its way into this system, which means we can get rid of this. Um, we can put this back here. We can get rid of all this mess. gonna take a surprisingly long time to drain because 
uh, hydrogen generators and AETN do not drain hydrogen that quickly. What are we printing? Uh, no dupes. We'll take some curative tablets then. I'm very picky with my dupes. I want three traits or, or three interests so that it's easy to uh, keep their morale up and have them do more stuff. And how are we going? We have still no more iron. I'm not surprised. Um, it's going to take a little while before we get below 30 degrees over here again. Um, probably significantly after we're done making the ceramic and refined carbon. Starvation? No, we've got 190k k calories. It's just dupes being silly. It's fine. I like how... Uh, wait, no. I, I like how we've got the lights switched off and the shine bugs taking up exactly this space over here. But the reason we don't do um, bristle blossom yet is we don't have an infinite water source. So until that goes a bit faster... Until we can delete heat better, um, we won't be taking from the hot water over here. We've just been sucking up all of the water and polluted water. Nice cool water that we can find. Okay, what's next? Oh, there goes the uh, hydrogen, surprisingly quickly. Hmm. Anyway. If we get 70% uptime for 888 grams per second, uh, 621.6 grams per second, so this takes 150 kilograms, doesn't it? Yes. 150,000. Uh, divided by that last thing, which I just got rid of. Whoops. Can I go back with this calculator? 888 times 0 0.7, 621.6. Uh, we're looking at only about 241, 242 seconds of the electrolyzer running to fill one of these. That's a lot quicker than I expected. Maybe I got a decimal wrong or something. Okay. Oh, we're still punching eggshells into lime. That's going to be some more heat before we ever get around to making iron and steel. It's fine. We just need an initial investment to get things going. So we can do kind of our final build for the refinery stuff right from the get-go. I'm going to need plastic, actually. Um, oh yeah, we've got our Drekos up here. We'll eventually get plastic. Um, just from... Just from ranching. Much, much, much easier and produces a lot less heat than the actual industrial production chain. Speaking of heat, give me just a moment to deal with it IRL.
Okay, the weather's not being entirely kind lately. Now where are we? Do -do -do. So that's going quite smoothly. Oh, we finished our recipes here? Cool. Uh, we've got a bit of heat to delete up here. I should probably... Okay, I feel like I misconfigured something if the hydrogen is cycling that slowly. Maybe not. How cold is it here? 1.8 degrees, 5.7, 24, 29, 22. What's so cool about this area? Did I misread that, or... 5 degrees, 26, 29... Down to 25 again. What's with this sharp drop in... Temperature as we go up here? No wonder. Or did I misread it? 26, 24, 23, 22... How's it getting colder up this way? Is it just because we're running some machines over here? I don't think that accounts for it. Hmm. Is that... Uh, oh, people are idle. Uh, let's make some make work. Um... Stuff that we want done eventually. Let's see. I actually don't know what I want right now. Some more exploration would be good. Let's head over this way. See what we find. And... More up and down the ice biome. I guess. That is a very... Oh, it's two ice biomes. I was going to say. What else? Keep exploring over this way. And this way, perhaps. And before I forget, I'll put the priorities on all of that digging just a little bit below normal. Oh, it's already getting done. Kind of quickly. We should dig around and start preparing to tame some volcanoes. So I don't have to... Why are we scolding? Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. Maybe I should dig down to get this oil out of the way. That would require a lot. We need some... You know what? I shouldn't make any steel. I'm not trying to make any steel. Yeah, we need some uh, Atmo suits sooner rather than later. Beep, 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 beep. Alright, so I want to expand our coolant loop up this way. For obvious reasons. Um, on the left side, I'm going to have this one a little bit extra tall and the next one a little bit shorter. But I guess it's not really going to change anything in the main bus. So we'll do this four tiles up again. Give me some bridges. Like that. 
Actually, you do put that down. Do we have a second AETN that we can exploit? Don't remember where... I think I did see one somewhere, but I don't remember where. Um, it's not over here. It's not over here. I might be thinking of one that I saw in Damsel's game, actually. They're always in the cold biome, right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, surely. Um... No, I think we've only found one AETN. Unfortunately. D host, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can they build this? Yeah, they should be able to. Okay, so this I actually want built right now, please. Get that AETN coolant running past where the heat actually is. Today, please. Not just one little piece of pipe at a time. There we go. Almost there. And let's snippy this. And of course they're taking their sweet time finishing this one. There we go. Right. Maybe I need to t change the shape of this so that this hydrogen loops faster. Yes, finally passed all the exams. Nice. And now have a lot of free time. Very nice. Still 40 degrees. Uh, let's see. Current temperature, according to the Bureau here, is only 31.5. So... That number does not uh, express my sheer fatigue with the with the heat from the last few weeks, but uh, for the first time in I don't know how long, within the week we're expected to get as low as twenty degrees at the coldest part of the day. By day, I mean you know four a.m. or something. So that'll be nice. That will be nice. I'm quite looking forward to being able to think clearly again. Well, relatively. Oh, hydrogen's already 33 degrees here. Yeah, this is cooling down a little faster than I expected. Still got a ways to go. Now the question is... Right, let me just try cutting this off first, because I want to double check that I'm not slowing down... I think I, I must be slowing down the hydrogen flow, um, because I'm not doing this very smartly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I should have a bridge here so that we hard prioritize the hydrogen that's already in the loop. It'll look a little bit more tacky, but who cares? It'll be functional. Shouldn't take them too long. Since it's right in the middle of our base. Alright, so this this stuff here should be hard deprioritized. 
So once this input to the loop has drained away, uh, even though we only consume a tiny amount of hydrogen, uh, 10 grams per second from the AETN, the rest of it should flow around at full speed, I hope, which might mean it equalizes temperature a little bit quicker. That's the dream, anyway. Takes a surprisingly long time for this little bit to drain. That still sounds better than before? Yeah, yeah. It is... I, I am suffering, but it is a relatively mild suffering. I just wish... Um, between the heat and my terrible genes in this respect, that I wasn't in danger of causing, like, water damage to my nice headphones, the part that go around the ears, uh, every time I put them on, except at, like, 5 a.m. That'd be nice. Should probably plug in some old uh, earbuds instead. Actually, wait, I tried that and I had some te uh, technical difficulties. Beep, 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 boom. Just how much gas is still here? Uh, 1,000 grams of hydrogen. Oh, now it's, now it's dropping. 86, 84, 82, 80, times 10. So once this reaches zero, I'm hoping to see hydrogen looping at full speed. Kind of like the water. Oh, this is oxygen. Water's not moving at full speed, but it's not meant as coolant. The polluted water is going to be used as coolant. We're going to loop this through a thermal aqua tuna somewhere. So... It still doesn't seem to be behaving the way I had in mind. It seems faster, though. Maybe it's my imagination. Temperatures... I don't think it's gonna... I, I don't think it's making that much difference. But we are gradually lowering the temperature up here. You can't expect too much from the AETN. Um, it's very cheap and very easy, and it's not nothing for heat deletion. We've got idle people again? Really? Dig this out. And... Probably dig all of this out as well. Wait, so all that exploratory digging has already been done? No? Hmm. None of them are, there's like one or two at most that are incapable of digging. Surely. And I'm not gonna worry too much about one wheeze what I suppose. Is there oxygen down here? Not really. So that you uploaded a lot on YouTube? Yeah, I mean it was already there but I have to go through 
and do data entry because I can't automate this the way I would like. Um, there's like th three things that I have to change minimum on each video. Alright, uh, where are we going? It's gonna take longer than I would like for that heat to equalize. I didn't expect it to be fast exactly, but to get this down to less than 30 is going to take its sweet time. We can't make, uh, we can make Thermo Aqua Tuners already. It takes a very long time to heat up a decent body of water into steam. So I could make a steam room ahead of time and dump heat into there. Even though I can't build the actual steam turbines yet. I could even do it with what's supposed to be our... This was going to be a short-term build, just to get a little bit of steel going, but maybe I should have done the long-term build to start with. Because that's going to be one of our steam rooms. Still not sure where I want to ultimately put things, because I had to do all this temporary stuff. Because that's the nature of the early game. Alright, let's dig all of this out, I suppose. Since people need make work. Oh, that's, uh, that's not supposed to be working, by the way. It only needs to be there to make this count as a hospital, weirdly enough. How did this end up full of hydrogen? That's rather strange. It's only 175 grams. Oh wow, I did not realize how far they have to go without oxygen over here. Uh, we did somewhat fix that before, because I did a carbon skimmer over here. But... Gases have moved around since then. What are we printing? Um, some salt water, sure. Let me just get some more water. Okay, that's a little bit better. Muted because I was getting some water. Alright. 
Where are we up to? Um, I could make this the future proper industrial room. It's kind of close to a bunch of farms that I probably want to keep. But it's going to be insulated anyway. Yeah, I think... I think that's probably... What the kitchen, uh, kitchen, bathroom, mess hall, and all that is going to be over here eventually. Um, so maybe like this space would eventually be the. No, I, I need two floors because we need st uh, steam turbines upstairs. So we could probably get started with this over here with insulated tiles. Oh, you can make these out of ceramic. Uh, does it have the stats on ceramic? Specific heat capacity is kind of low. Thermal conductivity is very low. Decor, overheat temperature. It's really more for making buildings out of, I think. Melting point, 1800. Uh, that's quite high. That's higher than some volcanoes. Yeah, that that's higher than magma, or at least relatively low temperature magma. Uh, I don't exactly want to pay the heating cost to make that much ceramic just yet, though. We'll make it out of igneous rock. Wasn't ceramic the best? Indeed. Um, leave this as it is. This will become insulated. And I want five tiles high, which means this stuff's going to be in the way, but we can plan at least. Uh, what's this for? Nothing. We can get rid of that. And... kind of want to not waste the energy in this battery, so we'll just disconnect that for the moment. I'd prefer to have um, a vacuum gap so that we're not transferring heat through the airlock door. And that means double airlock doors. Um, I don't want to actually build the airlock doors yet. How much space do we really need? If I'm being really greedy, I want to have two metal refineries. Those are four tiles each. Let me pause this real quick. Uh, probably a liquid reservoir, though it could be on the outside. No, it should probably be on the inside. This is not the order that they're going to appear in. Rock Crusher. Um, two kilns. We need multiple because we're going to have separate recipes on them. Uh, and we're just going to have weight plates below them to manage uh, manage their output. Although, if I do that, if this is going to be a steam room, really I should have a double thick floor. Because the weight plate is going to transfer heat, I'm pretty sure. Hmm... Which means I should probably put this in a different spot. Or move this up a little bit, I guess. Did the old base burn off? Uh, no, I just wanted to restart and do things a bit neater. Mr. Ray Ray, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure weight plates are going to conduct heat just as aggressively as doors. Uh, in that case, wait, can we get, can we get a signal from these conveyor loaders? Nope. We have to use the bloody... Uh, way too electrically expensive containers if we want to get a signal based on what's in them. Nobody died? De definitely nobody died. That would never happen. Not even once. Yeah, this is why I was using the weight plates. The storage containers, uh, the smart storage bins actually require 60 watts just to report what they've got. They also produce heat. Never ever, indeed. Um, so in that case, should we just do the double thick here? Probably. It's gonna have to look wonky compared to the perfect, neat pattern of the main bus somewhere. Um, but instead of one tile here or there, it's gonna be a weight plate. Can they actually reach this if they do that first? Um, but yeah, I was... Oh, this is going to have to be higher. Which means that the steam turbine isn't going to line up with the roof of the one on the other side either. Feels bad. Feels bad, man. Do we still need this? I mean, I could move it wherever I like. There's no rush. Is that battery empty? How is that battery not empty? What? What? Where are you... Where are you drawing your power from? Is it just that slow to drain? I guess it's possible. Did I spend that much time with the game paused just now? Alright, so things that I want to put in the refinery room, uh, perhaps. Definitely a glass forge, that'll be at the back because we don't use it that often compared to other buildings. A uh, couple of kilns. A couple of metal refineries, one rock crusher. Plans so that you use three floors? Oh, maybe. I was thinking of leaving room for a molec molecular forge as well, but there's like multiple recipes for it, aren't there? So if I was doing the thing with the full automation for different recipes, um, I would actually need multiple molecular forges. Um, but regardless, I kind of maybe want to have a tile above the metal refineries. So that I could fit a sweeper above them. So it's going to, like, take iron directly from one of the metal refineries and one of the kilns. Uh, and put it straight into the one that makes steel. So it's just that little bit less uh, labor for the dupes. Um, but let's see. How much horizontal space do we need? If I have to make this too much wider, I'll just cut down a bit. Um, so I don't actually want them to build this, so we're going to pause it. Uh, one glass thing, two kilns... I think the kilns drop on the left side. 
So I'd have to drop the glass out accordingly so we can have the touch plates. Uh, two metal refineries. That would go here. One rock crusher. This is only three tiles wide? Yeah, it's taller than it is wide. Uh, rock crusher and two more tiles of width for a liquid reservoir. So we can control input for coolant. I think we're going to have plenty of room, actually. Oh, uh, I forgot. We want airlock double airlock doors so that we can have a vacuum in the middle so that heat doesn't ex uh, doesn't escape any more than it already will through the insulated tiles. Um, but yeah. I don't know, maybe I'll just have a separate room for molecular forges when it comes to that. Or I could just extend this out further, I suppose. So right from the start, we can make kilns out of anything. They never overheat. We can make metal refineries out of ceramic, which is cheap except for the heat cost uh, when we make it from the kiln. Uh, we can make... We need to make a liquid reservoir out of steel. That's 400. We need to make a liquid shutoff out of steel. That's 50. So we're up to 450 so far. We're going to need a... Uh, is it Rock Crusher? Yeah, I think the Rock Crusher has to be made out of steel. Uh, so that's another 800. And... We're going to need a... a thermo Aqua Tuner made out of steel. So that's 2,450. But the thing is, we don't strictly need all of that right away. Uh, as long as... Uh, we can make these things out of, like, gold amalgam, the things that need to be steel, until the steam temperature gets up to 125. And we're going to want to be able to replace them by then. Do you use mods? Yep, I use a few mods. Mostly the airlock doors and just some quality of life stuff. Nothing too serious. I am... The, the more I think about it, the more I'm considering using uh, the airlock mod that Damsel uses. It's a little bit OP, but it makes for just much nicer and neater builds. Where basically a regular regular airlock will block all gas and liquid. A um, little overkill, but like the space that I need. Like this airlock door is more balanced, I think. Um, but the amount of space that I have to dedicate to having a vacuum gap, uh, it's a little bit more than I would like. So I think we'll go all the way back here. Um, in order to have our double airlock. Should probably move this. That battery is still going. It's going to take a while to drain, actually. Um, and the reason I want to get rid of that is so that I can put this here. Um, is that as close as I can put those together? I want to have airlock door, gap, airlock door. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'm going to decon this first.
At this rate, the little temporary build that was just supposed to fart out a little bit of steel um, is never going to get used. Well, we are down to 31.5 degrees. I could let the... I could let it through at that temperature, I suppose. I feel like I'm going to regret this. Let's make some iron. We can at least get the Atmo suits going. Oh, right, I forgot. Okay, so long game, this is going to make sense, having the airlock come all the way up to the main bus. Because we're going to have Atmo suit docks. Uh, basically, there's going to be like living quarters of, and everything, everything needed for the dupes to live over here. And that's where we're going to keep oxygen. And we're going to have an exit to that where they all have to go through uh, Atmo suit checkpoints. And everywhere else is just considered a hostile environment. Um, and that's going to not require as many Atmo suit docks all over the place. Uh, researching, ranching, operating. Decreased bathroom use speed is fine, as long as you don't starve to death because of it. Uh, researching, ranching. Well, we've kind of got all of these things now. I think I'm holding out for a chef or something. Let's just take some seeds instead. Um, but yeah, that's going to be, like, super late game. So at least in the meantime, we're going to need to... ...make this a little more conservatively. Um, I'm going to want at least a couple of tiles for Atmo suits over here. Let's make it two Atmo suits. Just in case someone in here has trouble of some kind. Um, Atmo suit dock. Do I not have these? They're in stations, aren't they? Um, obviously don't love making those out of lead. But... For now it'll be the best we can do. We do have enough iron for a single Atmo suit. And maybe I should just try to stop trying to conserve this battery energy. It's taking way longer to drain than I thought it would. I guess because... Oh, I completely forgot about this. Cool slush geyser. Fantastic. Wait, I haven't actually... Oh, it's not activating for a while. Let's see. Next activity is 30 cycles. Um... Does it output polluted water? Polluted water? I thought it was going to output uh, salty water. Negative 10 degree polluted water. Oh, and I think I left this disconnected just to make sure that it wasn't going to be some kind of salty polluted water that we've never heard of before or something. Um, but yeah, we should be able to just put that straight into... Why is this connected to here? Well, we'll wait and see what we actually get. Um, but I'm pretty sure... We can literally just put the polluted water straight into the system like this. And at negative 10 degrees, it's going to cool our base when we get it. Another 30 cycles until that happens, though. Uh, let's see. How is this not being deconned yet? Should have had them finish the bottom floor first. Fantastic. 
fantastic. And we're going to want stations. That mostly checkpoint goes where the battery is. God damn it. I'm just going to remove it. Rip energy. But I'm not waiting that long for this to go away. I will wait till it's deconned at least though. Oh, that's fine. Should probably sweep this up. There's probably some eggs in there or something, though. Uh, I'll get back to that. Actually, I think I'll make a sweeper. An auto-sweeper to get rid of it. Alright, we can now actually plan this out. Uh, Atmo suit checkpoint and two docks will have to be how we set it up for the moment, which probably means I'll end up stuck with this for ages. Um, and we're going to have heavy watt joint plate like so. We will need some regular wire just to touch these. I believe... you know what, let's test it. I'm pretty sure you can run regular wire through the junction, uh, the joint plates, because they basically act as a bridge. Do not run them through this though. Well, I... Oh, huh. that's weird. It doesn't let me build it like this directly, but if I drag it, they can touch each other, which we don't want. Okay. Um, so add some tiles up here, and over here I guess. Oh, these two should be low priority. Actually, don't even build the airlocks yet, but especially don't build them before we build the wires, because otherwise we won't be able to reach them. How much iron did we end up getting? Only one recipe? What? You've got... Oh, right. Well, that tracks. Alright, you know what, um, just, just get rid of all this. Get rid of all of this mess, and I guess we're gonna have to be able to output. Uh, the water actually. What's the temperature like over here? About what I expected. We are getting pretty chill hydrogen running through here. Oh, uh, it would probably help if I had some radiant pipe. I mean, regular pipe over this big of an area is kind of enough for it to equalize. But if we want to cool off like this area in particular, maybe some radiant pipe would be called for. I'm not overly concerned about that right now, though. This is just to sort of cool the ba the general base a little bit. Uh, we need some Atmo suits, which are surprisingly easy to make. We just slap down an exosuit forge made out of lead. And churn out a couple of suits. RPHL streams, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If I remember correctly, yes, they are bridges, but with a block in the middle, yes. 
Okay. Can we get this built so that we can lay out the rest? Um, and they did decon this. God damn it! Uh, I just want to, I just want to leave this here so that we can make a couple more iron before we decon all this. That's fine, I suppose. And you, you, you what? That's not, that's not fine, I suppose. Petrie Cottontail, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is it safe to breathe in here? Uh, yeah, it's pretty safe. I think we're, I think we're doing okay. All right. Um, so I just want to remove. Whoops. Remove all of that automation stuff, and we'll just unconditionally make another uh, another nine nine hundred iron. It'll generate a little bit of heat, but it's not going to be that big of a deal. I think we're only going to make a couple. Yeah, no, that's. We'll, we'll just go with that. Okay. What do you mean, unreachable build? What is this diagonal? I had them building through diagonals all the time. Is no one going to do this? Waiting materials, awaiting coolant. Alright, let's decon it. It's about time. Get rid of all of that mess. And this as well. Hydrogen escape? Uh, a little bit earlier on. Not that big of a deal. But this hi- Oh, right. You mean this. Uh, yeah, we're gonna want to block swap that. Which is, yeah, no, that'll be fine. Once we're swapping a building block with another building block, it should do this instantly. So the hydrogen's not going anywhere. We need to clean up that polluted air in there. It's nasty. But how? Um, and why does it take them this long to build or decon stuff that's so close to the base? Yay is like the best redeem, indeed. Alright, they're finally deconstructing this. This really is the worst part of Oni. Scratching your head wondering how it takes the dupe so long to build or deconstruct something. Especially when it's so close to the base. Alright, we do need some big boy power cables here. And... Should probably just disable this for now. 
that and overconfidence. Uh, let's grab some... A whopping two Atmo suits for Iron. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Overconfidence is indeed a, a slow and insidious killer. Did that not get marked for decon? What the hell? And let's not forget the bonk. We, we could forget the bonk just once. As a treat. Okay, so... Refinement. I can just barely fit one of these. Um... Pretty sure I want the glass forge at the back. A couple of kilns after that. Metal refinery out of ceramic times two. You know what? Let me get rid of these tiles first. Indeed. Just a few more of these. Uh, actually, can I plan this out again now? Refinement. Glass at the back. A couple of kilns. Uh, a couple of metal refineries. What was next? Uh, rock crusher. And could we possibly have a auto sweeper that can reach? Uh, which side does this output? On the left. God damn it. God damn it. I was hoping to have a auto sweeper that can reach the uh, what is it called? Refined carbon, and also the. Uh, I'm blanking on what, what it's called. The stuff we turn the eggshells into. Lime. The refined carbon and lime and put it into the metal refinery that makes uh, that makes the steel. I guess I c well, I could do that by moving the metal refinery that makes the iron, but that's just swapping one th one thing that we miss out on for another. Or I could do it with a pair of auto sweepers. They only produce heat when they're actually working, right? So that's actually no big deal at all. Yeah, we could definitely do that. Um, so if this goes down here... Uh, we're not going to be able to fit a liquid reservoir. I think I'm just going to make the room longer than usual. Like, what's wrong with that, actually? Nothing? Good talk. All right. In that case... Let's just... I can just leave that where it is for now. Random peep enjoying other people's work? What? The bigger the better? Well... The dupes have to walk in from over here, so not necessarily. 
but it'll be a lot easier than making multiple rooms that do this. I can just extend it as far as I need to later on when we add molecular forges and maybe oxalate refinery. So, yeah. I really wish I could put, push this three tiles over. They do take their sweet time making insulated tile as well. Was it called Pip or Peep? Oh, it's a Pip. Yes. How many more spots do you need? Would it be worth doing a second room upstairs? Uh, I think I'll just make it wider. It's not going to be that much wider. Internal to the airlock. Second room upstairs, internal to the airlock. Uh, no, I think this will be okay. I do wish we didn't have to do double thick floors just because of the weight plate. I wish we could have insulated weight plate. May as well cut this out already. We are getting rid of our natural source of reed fiber here. I'm sure there's many more. Uh, on second thought, where are they? Actually, the pips will replant them. Somewhere or other. We hardly ever need any reed fiber anyway, and we're getting some from the Drekos. What was that for? And we'll dig this over this way. Alright, I should just do this from the beginning. I need to get rid of these ladders as well. That was for me being stupid? Oh, I see. We'll probably extend this out and have some, like, double farms as well. Okay. No wonder I can only guess four letter words in that game. Words on stream? Alright, so if we have our second airlock door here, uh, we want to start with Rock Crusher, I think, and then two metal refineries, and then two kilns. I could do the second kiln further away, but what difference does it make? Uh, some glass forging, and then we could have like as many molecular forges as it takes. Uh, I also wanted room for a liquid reservoir, which is what we what made me redesign this for now. And is there anything else I'm forgetting? Refinement. Nothing that I think I want to put in this room. So we've got plenty of room to expand with molecular forges over here. We are going to have crude oil. Uh, one of the reasons I have the kilns right here is so that we have room for automation. And we're basically just going to have... Uh, liquid pipe thermosensor. 
We're going to have to make this out of steel eventually. Actually, no. It, this one doesn't matter unless it melts. Lead melts at... 327 degrees. We're only going to go to 200. Uh, so sensor and then liquid shut off. And we're basically just going to say radiant pipe right here. Insulated pipe everywhere else. And that's going to go into the metal refineries. What about storage boxes for sweeper arm to work efficiently? No, the sweeper arm is only going to take stuff like straight from one machine to the next. It's just going to save the dupes a little bit of work. Um, and then that's going to come from here. We're going to have to do a little bit of an awkward crisscross, unfortunately. Uh, we can do our output for the glass wherever we like. Uh, before I forget, weight plates are going to be... Oh, I can't place them like that, really. Uh, I'm pretty sure... I, I already checked the weight plates are on the left side for the kilns to measure what's coming out of them. And I'm pretty sure the output is on the right side for metal refineries. And I honestly don't remember where it comes out of the crusher. Um, maybe in the middle? Maybe a little bit to the right? In the middle, like here? Uh, glass, we can put it wherever we want. We're going to have a steam turbine, which I can't even plan right now because we don't have any plastic. But... It's going to be probably about here. Let's just pretend this is the steam turbine. Um, so insulated pipe should probably not be made out of sandstone, actually. Igneous rock should be fine. And if both of these output at the same time, I found it was actually a little bit better to have one block the other. Otherwise, you can get dupes running back and forth between these two, uh, trying to operate them, whereas they keep flickering as to which one is operable, because they're both blocked by liquid output. So we're going to want our liquid output to go back over here. And then bridge it back this way. Um, this needs to be radiant pipe. Well, it doesn't really need to be, but it's going to be a lot faster. Radiant liquid pipe. Okay, cool. So everything else for this pipe loop is insulated. And at the radiant pipe, we're going to be measuring the temperature. And once it drops below X degrees, we're going to allow it to go back into the metal refinery to make sure it doesn't overheat. Bridge in... Rar? Rar? Bridge in Rur. What? I I don't understand. Pipe. I, I still don't understand. Uh, and we're going to want a weight plate wherever we're dropping the glass out, which may as well be all the way over here, to be honest, but um, I don't think I will do that. 
On second thought, yeah, no. Nah. Uh, so water from the steam turbine is going to get dropped straight back into this room. The steam turbine doesn't really need to be anywhere in particular. Earlier I was designing it here-ish because I wasn't making the ceiling as high. Do not confuse streamer, they are confused enough already. Indeed. Oh, and I wanted a Thermo Aqua Tuna loop for the steam turbine. It's going to be actively cool. Mr. Ray Ray, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And technically, like, if I was doing the perfect eventual build, we'd have, like, uh, molecular forges here, here, maybe here. And this liquid reservoir and the thermo aqua tuna that I'm going to put in would go all the way to the back of the room. But I'm not going to worry that much about it. Besides which, we could patch it if it comes to that. So, thermo aqua tuna. Um, again, everything I'm making out of gold amalgam is is temporary. It needs to become steel later on. I thought the liquid shutoff could overheat. Oh, it can. So this needs to be made out of steel as well. But I can't make it out of gold amalgam. Um... It's just that it's going to take a lot of time to heat up the water. So hopefully we'll get some plastic before then. Or some steel, rather. Or both. Alright, so... Thermal aqua tuna. Um... Actually, couldn't I just use the polluted water loop? For passive cooling... F well, not passive cooling, for active cooling for the... Steam engine. Or maybe this could be... No, I, I think I do want a separate steam room that's just, like, dedicated to, like, central cooling and stuff. I could also temporarily do a passive cooling build until we can casually afford 1200 steel. That's probably fine, actually. So, I think this is it for now. So we can stop all this nonsense. And I destroyed those plants for nothing. Whoops. Okay. But uh, we can at least get this much done. Did we make our Atmo suits? Insufficient resources, iron, 80 kilograms. What happened to the iron that we made? Three hundred kilos for one Atmo suit? Since when? Wasn't it 100? Bruh. Okay then. The plants will be remembered. It's still 25 and a half cycles until our polluted, cool polluted water comes in. Uh, 
I'm realizing... No, we're fine. To get the gas out, we'll put this here for now. And just shove all of it into the next room. This requires plastic. Being betrayed by a recipe that was all along like that? Unheard of? I could have sworn this only takes a hundred. I really could have. Am I playing on three times science? Uh, let's see. Auto mission. Weight plate. Lead in theory is fine. And I'm going to need one somewhere for the glass. Uh, come to think of it, if for no other reason then I don't want to run a wire all the way across the room, uh, I guess I will put the weight plate for the glass right here. So I'll drop this here and a liquid... Uh, up here. Seems good. Can't you use the wall vent to vacuum the room? Or does that need plastic too? Uh, no, I could use a wall vent, but it'll be a bit slower and less energy efficient. And then I would have to replace it and maybe let gas in. Not too worried yet. Can they even reach this? I seriously doubt it. Um, I guess I could temporarily remove the glass forge. So we can put in a ladder. You can make ladders out of ceramic? I guess that makes sense. That's some awesome tech that they can build pipes through walls without leaking anything, though, indeed. Okay. So now we can put a ladder here just so we can build this crap. At least it'll be very clear where we need to build our glass forge. Okay, so these two, and these, and these, and these. Actually, uh, I don't think I am going to have a weight plate for the Rock Crusher. The reason I didn't remember where it goes is because our recipes are just... Turn all eggshells to lime, turn all fossil to lime, and that's it. Okay. Need ladders for the auto sweepers too. Oh no. I can't make the auto sweepers out of steel yet, so I'm not going to worry about them for now. I'll just have to like remove a building just like we did now. When the time comes. Can they not reach that? Remind yourself that overconfidence is a Dilka, and good to killer. see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, it might be about time to sweep all of this. 
Once we rebuild the glass forge, perhaps. Are you idle? That's kind of good in a way. Uh, is there anything we can't sweep? Doesn't look like it. We don't need to remove the machines, just remove the roof. When it's going to be our steam room, yeah, or a steam room. Kari, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, uh... I need some crude oil. Which, come to think of it... Was this going to be our crude oil bus? Water, uh, water, polluted water, crude oil. Is there any other liquid? Like, uh, are there more than four liquids that I would consider having on the bus? And do I need to make a decision? Let's see. Of course it shows everything that's solid as a liquid. Um... I don't think ethanol is one. Um, we might end up just doing crude and petroleum as well as these two. Maybe super coolant. That's super late game, but maybe we'll end up with a super coolant, um, like main bus coolant loop. Maybe. Probably not. I'm I'm thinking crude oil and petroleum is probably fine. In any case, this uh this one right here can be crude oil. And first we need to actually get the crude oil, which is way down here. And it's rather hot. Can we make a liquid pump that can tolerate it. Yeah, it starts at 75 degrees. This is 125. Steel liquid doesn't sound dangerous at all, indeed. Uh, let's see. We're gonna need a filter because there's all this other crap in here. Unless I want to scold the dupes ever so slightly more and build it over here. Hmm. Or I could pump all of this upstairs. I'd be pumping an awful lot of heat up there just to get rid of this mess. Hmm. I wish I hadn't let this crap flow down here. Why don't we do this? That, that's going to be easier, right? And there's no way the other liquids can find their way up here. And then we'll put a liquid pump made out of gold amalgam. And run that stuff all the way back upstairs. Where are we going? to those pipes there. We'll need a bridge. And I think we can go this way. And once more bridge. And that should be it. Seems good. That's kind of like 50-50 with the new stuff coming in. 
That's probably fine. I'm not going to use the oil as a coolant loop for the main base. Although I, su I suppose I could, but like, we're already going to have the polluted water going there, so they'd just be in each other's way. And we want high uh, specific heat capacity for the stuff that we run through the thermo aqua tuner. If we're doing a passive loop like this, um, fruit oil is fine. In fact, it's good because of the temperature range. But when you run something through the thermo aqua tuner, it arbitrarily drops the temperature by 14 degrees and gains more heat if the specific heat capacity of the liquid is higher. So it's a lot more electricity efficient um, to have a higher SHC. Alright, this is actually mostly getting done. We are creeping towards a vacuum in here. I need to make... Well, that's why I was going to get the crude oil. It's going to take a little while. I need the coolant loop of a little bit of crude. So that we can do the metal refineries. And I just need a couple more recipes of iron. Um... They're also taking their sweet time sweeping this stuff. Do we still have storage? We do. Uh, and this is sweep only, so there definitely should be room. Should be room. Maybe I just need to crank the priority, as ever. At this rate, we'll have a vacuum in here before we're ready. I should really set it up so that they have to get Atmo suits to go down here, but we're struggling to get our first Atmo suit still. Catch 22s all over the place. We're down to the milligrams of gas per tile. Oh, that's CO2. It's a little bit slow, the dupes going through the modded airlock door. It's not too bad. How's our hydrogen? Looking good. That's what I wanted to see. What's this? Looking for oxygen. Oh, right. We open this door if we detect oxygen. But I changed it so that the hydrogen goes further. It, more to the point, the there's like a slope here. There's more oxygen further up on the right side. Which is kind of the opposite of what we would want. In hindsight, I would have put the first electrolyzer all the way over here. It's fine. As long as no one gets stuck in there. Alright. Down to the micrograms. Fantastic. How's the pipe coming along? 
Uh, I was going to say better than expected, but then not so much. We're also going to need some cheap wire all the way down. How much is on this one? 840 watts. Uh, do we still need that filter? Yeah, we do. Can I... Hmm. I could just disable the second water CF here temporarily. So now max load on this wire is 720. So if we add another 240, which I believe that's what this is. 240 watts, uh, 960 should be fine. So we can just run regular wire all the way back, probably the same path as the pipe. Ooh, they're further down with that build than I expected. And just connect there. Nice and easy. Water reservoirs are still looking good. Oh, and they finished sweeping. Nice. We'll have to add some more water. Oh, no. Uh, it's fine, actually. I was briefly thinking about adding another feature to this room, but it's probably better if I add it to our other steam room later on. Okay. So how long till we get that Dublin crude? Uh, a little sooner than expected. Still a ways to go yet. I guess I could have put a tap down here to have the dupe spring some up, but we're going to need a little bit more than that. Does this lead to an AETN? Possibly. It's just water. Let's add a ladder down here. Let's see how that goes. When do we get pee water? Uh, 22 cycles still? Really? Someday. Alright, everything really is hinging on getting that crude oil. We're most of the way there with the pipe. Wire is... Not as far, but it's much quicker to build it. Much easier to transport the materials as well. And I think they can squeeze through here? We'll see. It would help if they had any oxygen down there. Oh, they do have the oxygen masks, I forgot. It's not that bad. Not that... And we're still sharing Dracos. How much reed fiber do we have? We have 27 units. I think we're going to be fine. Plan ever with another liquid filter for the 
oil line? Uh, not yet. No, the filter is that we are building it here. So all of this crude oil, um, including oil that could come from this oil reservoir, although that's a whole other story. Uh, but we'll be able to get a decent amount of crude oil without having to worry about any liquid filters just yet. As long as the liquid doesn't chase it down here, actually. Didn't quite see that coming. Looking forward to the long run for this uh, for this seed. We got copper volcano. We got iron volcano. We got uh, what is it? Salt, saltwater volcano. We got cool polluted water. I'm just hoping it's not full of germs or salt or something. Uh, we've got a regular volcano, which is above us, which is a bit spooky, but we've tamed volcanoes before. We'll sort this one out without pouring hot magma down into the base. Uh, ranching, supplying, cooking. We do need a cook. Uh, decreased germ resistance. Decreased excavation. That's maybe not bad. Researching, wrenching, supplying. Mouth breather. We're not taking a mouth breather. I'm pretty sure we don't have any cooks. Oh, we do. Whoops. My bad. Um, Morpheus. I forgot I made you a chef. Damsel. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hello to you too. What should I take here? Uh, ranching supply. You know what? I wouldn't mind having another rancher and I wouldn't mind having another cook. So... Super duper hard digging. Decreased excavation. Hmm... I feel like we can do better. Let's just take the omelettes for now. It's taking a little longer than expected. Oh, maybe I need to bump the priority a little bit. I wish autosave wouldn't mess with my inputs. There we go. Um, and I might want to prioritize digging as well. Hopefully we can avoid the water coming down here. really just waiting on that crude oil. You know what? I should probably... They haven't even gone this far yet. Oh, they kind of have a little bit. Um, I should probably just move this up a little bit. There's CO2 hydrogen, don't care. And that should prevent any water from getting down there. Uh, 
me hurt. Boop, boop, boop. Where's the wire? Gotta watch out for the sand falling. The dupes are probably sorted out just because of the ordering there. Applause. Uh oh, evil player. Don't get too scolded, please. He's surprisingly resilient. Oh, there we go. A little bit, a little bit of scolding. He's okay, folks. It's fine. Totally fine. How about, how goes our exploring? Nothing new up here. Wait. No, we're good. Uh, did we go down this way? Not really. Probably because there's no freaking oxygen around here. Well, that's a little bit of pea oxygen. Oh, suddenly there's a lot more oxygen over here. I wonder what happened. Hmm, good question. Good question. We see nothing. Oh. Did I find this before? Chlorine gas vent. Yeah, that's not that exciting. How hot does it come out? Only 60 degrees. So it's hot enough to be annoying and not hot enough to be useful. Um, but it is infinite chlorine in case we need that. Haven't quite dug down here yet. Oh, 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 oh. I see, I see our prize. Another AETN and it's not that far away. Uh, it's way up here, actually, as opposed to down here. Okay. So... Ideally, I would like to have this bus... Why? How is... How is oxygen still getting in this loop? We fixed it. And that's not a small amount of oxygen, either. It's a big gulp. I put the sensor for hydrogen all the way down here. We need to detect it for five seconds, and then we only gulp it in for three, two seconds. Uh, and yet, our gravity filter is apparently not enough to prevent picking up little bits of oxygen sometimes. Not impressed. I think what I'll do is actually, uh, what I was thinking of doing was getting rid of the old gas pump here and using the modded one, gas wall pump. Um, but I think I would have to run some small wire to it to get it to work. And I don't really want to bother. I could move the gas pump way over here, since uh, with the electrolyzer on the left, or, or uh, on the right rather, I could move the electrolyzer to the left as well. Um, because the, the problem is that the hydrogen, like the oxygen slash hydrogen tends to slope this way. Which is the exact opposite of what we would want. Let's get rid of these old um, ladders. Prior nine. Hurry up. Should only take a second. This door needs to open though. Um.
open up. Wait, what? Wasn't it set to oxygen? Well, which is it? Is there a nut gate or something? No. Red signal equals closed, right? Closed and locked. Uh, so what, what, what's in this tile? Oxygen. Why wasn't it open then? Oxygen. It's still not opening? It's flickering. And then there's polluted oxygen. Oh my goodness. Um... Maybe set it to polluted oxygen for now. That one little bit of polluted oxygen is throwing this whole thing off. Nope, it's still not opening. Because every... Okay, there, we... there it goes. Can we get someone in here? God damn it. Yes. Alright, decon this crap. Deconstruct buildings. And then electrolyzer made of rolled amalgam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, we measured that before. And that can just go there. Um, and it's already got the automation wire. Cool, cool, cool. Gas pump is surprisingly unconditional. Huh. That's weird. It does have a filter on it, though. But could I not make it... Hmm. Couldn't I just make it the inverse of this thing? No, it needs to go pretty hard. Okay. Also, you appear to be stuck in here. Let's hurry up and get you out. And then you can build this one. And then... I don't suppose you could throw together a deodorizer while you're in here. Since we've got that tiny little bit of polluted oxygen floating around, messing up our senses. Uh, is there igneous rock in here? What's that? Sandstone? Sure. Make it out of sandstone. And we're going to need some electricity, is what I'm realizing. Twisty P. Elite noob. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Might have a wall tile under the gas pump. Wall tile under the gas pump. Oh, to prevent the... To make it harder for oxygen to be up here. The air gas pump only fail if the EL not working? What? DLC installed yet? Nope. Doing good. Fantastic. Victor. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. Uh, we're going to need to let Glacier Wolf out of here eventually. Like, probably now, actually. Finding safer area. Uh-oh. What do we have here? Hydrogen. That's good, because that's what I want this set to. Wait, what? No, that should be set to oxygen. Oh, for f... La la la. The trouble is, if I give this a null signal, it's going to be locked. So I can't just snip this. 
Um, currently there is hydrogen in this tile, but if I set it to detect hydrogen, uh, it doesn't want to do anything. Because we've picked the worst possible tile for this. It's constantly flickering as to which thing of gas is here. Um, maybe I should just decon the, the airlock, honestly. To get a uh, glacier wolf out. Okay, hurry up with this, please. EL is electrolyzer. The air gas pump only fail if the electrolyzer is not working, as it does produce more oxygen than the pump. Yes, yes. All right, let me grab a drink real quick before I melt. Okay, so they've built this, we even got the deodorizer, uh, we have an alarmingly small amount of hydrogen in here, but it's probably going to be fine, and yeah, that should be okay. Don't melt, it's bad for your health, indeed. Not so good for my health is, uh gratuitously drinking this caffeine just because it's cooled because the water in my fridge isn't as cold as I would like okay what was I doing what is this sound it's the boss greeting from Terraria I could probably move the pump over here. Ooh, maybe not there. Over here as well. And I probably should close this door again. Um. Yeah, this should be set to detect oxygen, actually. So we can put that door there for the moment. Mechanized airlock. Right about there, look. M Ma Madexus? Madux? Madexus? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This uh, suppressed current. We don't need to see that it's not powered. Evil Plow has made an interesting choice about where to be idle. Let's sweep this stuff up. And we could probably put in another electrolyzer, to be honest. Uh, but first I'd need to remove that deodorizer. Let's just put the next one here. They'll trigger on and off based on gas pressure, so... So it should be fine. Deodorizer has no power. It has power. Uh, the gas vent here is reporting max pressure sometimes, I think. 
for very brief moments. You're also getting pockets of CO2 in there. You might be better filtering the hydrogen and dumping the rest outside rather than filtering pure O2. Uh, well, the, the CO2 will find its way to the bottom here. Or one would think... Um, but yeah. No, we don't want to dump hydrogen outside. I do eventually want this to just be sealed and the dupes don't come in here without a... I, sh I should probably put a proper airlock here. That'd probably be a lot easier, actually. Let's do that immediately. Put a proper airlock in. Oh, except I want the gas pressure from the oxygen to push gas out here so the pumps don't have to do as much work. Anyway, um, we've kind of got distracted from the builds that we were actually working on. Uh, decreased germ resistance, increased decor, cooking, farming, suit wearing, don't care. Increased husbandry. Agriculture, nope. Oh, these guys suck. And I don't really want a shovel lurking around the face. Let's just skip that one. Alright, where's our crude? Uh, surprisingly close. Almost there. Almost. Is this game beginner friendly? I would say no, honestly. Uh, this game has some really rough learning curves where you're going to have to get several things at, right at once for it to work and there's not really going to be a lot of hints. Steam turbines are a very good example. So that is sucking up CO2. Um, as expected... You know what? I could just put in a... carbon skimmer here, at least temporarily. It takes water in, right? The carbon skimmer does. Water in, pee water out. Carbon dioxide go bye-bye. And... Um... That should normally have a bridge there. And when we decontaminate the, the polluted water, uh, we get some polluted dirt and stuff. So I can learn fine through trial and error, or will I be running to Google often? Uh, probably Google more often than most games. Like Factorio can get extremely complex. But you can learn it one little step at a time, um, and all those little steps are usually fairly straightforward. But there are systems in Oxygen Not Included that require a lot of moving parts interacting simultaneously. Some game descriptions are off, as in the, uh, the database doesn't tell you what it should. Yeah. I played this on stream... You know, without going to the wiki, like, spoiler-free, uh, I went as far as I could with it, which is to say pretty far, but it was needlessly difficult. There's a lot of stuff it doesn't tell you. And there's actually, like, database entries that are just straight up not there, like, you get the equivalent of a 404. I can't remember a good example of that, but there's stuff just straight up missing. Say so you don't want to get close to all your dupes in the first game? Oh, I see what you mean. Let's just say, yeah. 
When do we get crude oil? Another 600 years. Apparently. And here comes our carbon skimmer. We've still got 42 tiles worth of lead before we harvest some more. The trick is figuring out where we can get it from with a minimum of fuss. Lead is a really good, uh, somewhat early game stopgap. It counts as refined metal. It's a terrible refined metal, but it gets the job done, as long as you're not having to uh, deal with too much heat. It has a melting point of, what is it, 300 degrees or so? Uh, 327.5 degrees. And for stuff that doesn't have to melt for it to break, uh, it's got like a negative 20 degree uh, overheat threshold. But it is refined metal without you know, making a bunch of heat and stuff. It's quite good. Although you'll be glad to see the back of it eventually. Alright, once again I need to get the oxygen out of here. Um, how am I going to do that? You know, I could just put a vent here temporarily. Maybe? See how it goes. Can they even reach it? I don't think so. Unreachable bloody build. Okay. Put it here instead. Awaiting delivery, fantastic. Ayoko, Morpheus on the job. Morpheus still on the job. Where is Morpheus? What? Seriously, where is Morpheus? There he goes. Fantastic. Good evening, Glacier Wolf. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I'm hoping we can just kind of recycle all of this. Or some of it. Until the... Uh, until there's no more oxygen in the loop. Maybe this is a naive technique. I mean, it will work eventually, but it's going to be a bit random. Yeah, no, that's, that sucks. All right, fine, we'll do it this way. Again. Is there too much on this wire? No, we're good. And that's the wrong way around. And hydrogen's... Wait, wait, what? Hydrogen straight back in here. Uh, everything else, vomit it out here. Cool. Not cool at all that we need to do this again. Is it reachable? Of course not. I really wish we could get some upgrades to the dupes 
uh, building reach. Especially considering the size of a lot of the bit. Oh my god, not this again. Okay. If I set this to hydrogen, it's not going to open either. Nope. Fine. It's needs to be manually opened now. There we go. Okay. How is this thing sucking up hydrogen? Oh, because I put a bunch of hydrogen back in here. Why is it tilted this way? Maybe because we're producing oxygen over here? It's probably for the best. Did we get our crude? Not yet. Oh, such a simple task. We apparently have to wait like two weeks to get this done. Speaking of two weeks... Uh, next activity is still 16 cycles away for the cool slush geyser. Okay. Should probably just leave this open at this point. Just a few more pieces of wire. Apparently they're not high priority enough. Back in a moment. Okay, just a few more. Where's that AETM that we found? Uh, wasn't it over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we told someone to scan this. Why are we scolding? Oh, that makes sense, actually. Don't get too scolded, evil pla. Fantastic. Why are we digging this before we do these priority nine wires? Who knows? And I'm gonna want... Should I just let this chlorine into the system? Because I kind of want these pipes... to loop all the way up here. You know what? We're really not using the pipes up here yet. Let's just uh, borrow this. So we're going to need pipes like so, and pipes like so. Borrow that for the moment. And is this the right direction? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Input and then output. Seems good. I'm gonna need double over here. Uh, maybe I should be using... Whoops. Maybe I should be using insulated pipe for most of this. Probably. 
Are you lacking materials to build the wire? I seriously doubt it. We've got 75 kilograms uh, of copper. Really? Where do I get some more copper? Here we go. I, I kind I have to admit, I took copper for granted. More copper, please. And I should really turn these into... I'll turn most of this into insulated pipe. Not that far. Right, I'm not overly concerned about that just yet. So we'll make that priority four. But this way we can set and forget. Literally just two pieces of wire we're waiting for. They're each 25 each, so we should have already had enough. Since we still had 75. Looks like things have... Oh, bloody hell. What's this set to oxygen? This should be set to hydrogen. I absolutely hate how we have to wait till it's built before we can set it. Especially considering the way dupes will take 600 years to build something. But there we go, that should get the oxygen out of the loop. If it hasn't already, because apparently it was just vomiting everything out. Yeah, 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 I should have noticed that this was empty when I was comparing the, uh, the types of pipe. Whoops. Oh, that's why. This fills up and then this fills up and then this empties and then this empties. That's why the, uh, the latch system for the hydrogen generator was more extreme than expected. That makes sense. Okay. This has been a vacuum for a while now. Decon all of those. Thought the pip was stuck in here for a second, but no, it's fine. And... What else? Printing time. I'll definitely take 400 kilos of iron. Now we can actually make our first Atmo suit. Very convenient. We need some oxygen in here. We can simply fake it. From the bus very, very easily. Two people are getting scolded. Larius and Kevin. You might want to go back. You're already scolded enough. L Larius, please. Okay. Now go lie in bed for a while. Oh, hey, we got crude. It's about time. And it's already populated the loop. Fantastic. Uh, I think... Yeah, it's going to do weird things with the shape of this, but that's okay. Now then, we require... 
surprised I haven't done this part yet. Crude oil to find its way up here. Fantastic. You should snip the pipes near the hydrogen filter. It's stuck in a loop. Snip the pipes near the hydrogen filter. Oh, this? Did we get the oxygen out? I think we did. Alright, so this time... Uh, this time our gravity fed... Um, hydrogen filter is going to be working, right? Right? Tenth time's the chump. Looks like we got rid of the CO2 and polluted. There's a bit of CO2 down here. But it won't find its way into this, uh, this pump. Okay. I could maybe just put the sensor down here and say shut if not oxygen. Might be a bit more reliable. Won't need the bridge or anything this way. Oh, um... Yeah, so open if oxygen. That's fine. I don't need a not gate or anything. Right then. Crude oil. We need to put a little bit through here. There should be a bridge here. We're not even using this pipe yet, are we? We will be. Um, bridge, bridge. Bridge, 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 bridge. Get rid of this crap. And I don't even know what that was there for anymore. And I won't remove the loop for the pea water just yet. Um, but more to the point, we can easily get our crude oil over this way. Um, and I'm realizing I'll have to... Will they be able to reach that? Because this is a bit different now. We'll soon find out. Yeah, no, it's unreachable. We'll just throw a ladder in here for now. Okay. I need to dig out the AETN. And probably insulate it would be good. Radiant gas pipe. Thermally reactive. Seems good. Something like this. And a bridge. And... I also want it to be able to go in here. And then connect these like so. Seems good. Now we'll have double the AETN for 
easy but not that effective base cooling. We'll have one at each end of the loop, which is actually kind of great, because usually, you know, at the entry end of the cooling loop, things are cooler, and at the at the end where it goes out, things are significantly hotter. So this way it'll be more like towards the middle it might be hotter. But we don't have most of our heat generating stuff there. Alright, so I am going to just manually control crude input uh, into this container. And I want to fill two metal refineries and then have um, some crude oil in the liquid reservoir and also leave some slack. Fantastic. We're going to need some more water in here eventually, but I want to be careful to avoid flooding any of the buildings. I suppose, actually, I could make these mesh tiles. Since we've already got this extra, um, extra layer of insulated tiles. Um, if I make these mesh tiles next to the uh, uh, the weight plates, we could easily put in enough water to flash to steam later. Without worrying about when we're going to flood the metal refineries. So let's maybe do that. Um, I would say we've got plenty of copper, but we actually ran out not that long ago. How much more do we have? Let's see, metal, that's iron, there's actually quite a bit of iron over here. That That's a lot of iron. There's iron everywhere. What about copper? Copper, that's gold, amalgam. Ironically, I was going to go for the copper just because it's like cheaper, but um... There isn't really a whole lot of copper left to grab right now. So let's grab a bunch of iron over here. Fantastic. Gonna need some ladders. And we'll maybe make these mesh tiles out of iron. And that way I can put a significant amount of water in here ahead of time and not have to think about it. Alright. Time for crude. Why is it not coming in? Oh. Probably because we're connecting a green to a green. Uh... pipe just because of the just because of the weird behavior of liquids in this game that might work now I have to watch it like a hawk There it goes. Alright, so we need 800 kilograms, which is 80 tiles of water in... Uh, crude oil, rather. Crude oil in the pipes for metal refinery. We also need to fill these input pipes and leave the liquid reservoir not full, but have enough in it so that we don't have gaps, basically. And 
And apparently our crude oil... Oh, did I not set this? Uh, it needs to be below something. Let's see. Does this have... Oh, it's not powered yet. Oh, it is powered. It needs automation wire. Let's hurry up with that, because I need to set this. And it should only take a second to build. Fantastic. Okay. So... Above 6.9 degrees, that should flow in. Fantastic. Since we now have crude oil, I can set this to steel and it'll show us. Um, it'll raise the temperature of crude oil by 138.4 degrees Celsius. Um, and for iron, it's 79.4. That's weird. I could have sworn when I tested this earlier today, those numbers were different. Oh, was that water? Yeah, 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 that was water. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so what's that number? 138 degrees. Just to be safe, let's call it 150. Um, crude oil? I think it goes to 400. That's why we're picking crude oil for this job. Um, max, the max range uh, is much better compared to water or polluted water. It goes from negative 40 degrees to 400 degrees without flashing to a different state. So 400 minus 150, 250 degrees. Uh, we could probably go even safer than that. Let's say if the crude oil is below 200 degrees, we can put it into the metal refinery. Um, and by exchanging temperature with the room, potentially the steam could find its way up to 200 degrees, which is when we'll consume it with a... Uh, steam turbine. And... For the automation for these two, we're just gonna say... less than two tons, which unfortunately is as high as we can set this. Uh, basically, if the touch plate uh, doesn't have two tons of stuff on it, then we can run these machines. But we're also controlling it by just not giving it coolant, unless the coolant is cool enough. Suppress current. There we go. Stop yelling at me. Oh, and uh, this one next to the steel machine is going to make infinite refined carbon. Um, that is until we have two tons of carbon sitting on this weight plate. And same thing here, but for ceramic. And this one will be for glass. And as I said before, I need to keep an eye on this. Because I'm just going to do a one-off manual insertion of crude oil here. Kidara, please don't die. Fantastic. Oh, what did I make this out of? Gold amalgam. And the temperature down here is 75. Should be fine. Should be... All right, here we go. The only trouble is this 50% kill speed. Let's speed it up a little bit for now. It's 
So basically, once I have any amount of crude going in here, that should be all we need. Actually, it's 800, right? 800, 1600, so if we have 1600 in here, it should be able to cycle with no issues. It can go to 5k, so that should be no issue whatsoever. And 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, that's 2000. Oh, have, have we already got enough? More than enough, perhaps? Storing 930, no, I misjudged it. Uh, well, that's enough for one recipe. That should be fine, honestly. We're going to be bottlenecking on heat and or materials anyway. Um, that wire is going to bug me. And we need to put some more water in here. I'll just manually keep an eye on that one as well. Basically, just going to fill it until... What? Oh, right. You'd think you could build something here, but apparently not. Um, but yeah, we're basically just going to like fill these tiles with water. And very, very little above that. I could put a sensor over here to make that automated, but don't be bothered. That's still unreachable? Really? Oh, also, are any of these machines getting close to overheating in the vacuum? Possibly. Yeah, we're going to need water to be able to touch the bottom of them at least a little bit. Oh, don't tell me that's unreachable. <sighs> okay, what if we do this? Can we squeeze through the corner to make that work? Yes, yes we can. So hurry up and do it. Before these machines overheat. Wait, they can't overheat. They'd have to literally melt. Uh, they're made of copper, so that's like 2,000 something. Okay, then. Wait, you're telling me this is unreachable? Even though you just did the pipe on the exact same tile. Really? Fine. Remove the rock crusher, place a ladder. Make it quick. And while you're at it, I guess replace that damn ladder just so you can remove that wire as well. Alright, there's our water. Coming in rather slowly, which is 
probably fine, to be honest. I guess I can always just mop it up if I oversupply it. Or can I? I could mop it up from the weight plates, I'm pretty sure. But I don't think you could mop water up from here, could you? Maybe? Interesting idea. Oh hey, we have two Dracos now. When do we get Glossy Draco? Uh, let's see. Eggs. Reproduction. Where is it? Glossy Dracolet Egg. 55%. Fantastic. That's about what I want to see. We've got some random crap other than the refined carbon that we're trying to make here. Nope, no we don't. No we do, there's copper, copper ore. And on this tile we're trying to make a uh, ceramic. Let's remove... Nothing? Oh, there's sandstone. There it is. So the weight plate doesn't tell us lies. And sweep the rest. And finally, uh, we should be able to put back our glass kiln. Glass forge. Beautiful. Plastic soon, TM. What are we printing? More iron? Uh, it's going to be tough to beat. Let's see. Undigging? Increased excavation, don't care. Cooking, ranching, tidying, maybe. Increased husbandry, okay. Uh, what's Lyra like? Supplying, operating, ranching. Increased food morale bonus. Shriveled taste buds. Oh no. Decreased husbandry, you're out. Uh, but maybe nails. I definitely wouldn't mind a spare cook slash rancher. And I think we can easily afford the food budget right now. So, nails, you're in. Um, and that will be... Sigma Bean. Welcome aboard. Fantastic. Let me just mark that off. And Sigma Bean is going to be uh Should we go oh you're very low level. Let's wait. Well I can give you grilling for free, so we may as well. Have a grilling hat. And skills. I mean priorities. Sigma bean, ranching, cooking, uh, supply and storing, and everything else. Tidying, though. Seems good. Get to it. Oh, and we need a bed for you, I believe. You are number nine. Uh, I did make a bedroom for everyone over here, but they hadn't moved to it yet. So we've got plenty of beds, actually. Fantastic. Oops. Okay. What's next? 
We can actually get some metal now. We shouldn't go too overboard before we've got proper heat deletion though, probably. Oh, um, I should definitely put a second airlock door here. And then... And then... I should make this little thing a vacuum. Just thinking about the best way to do that. Probably a gas wall pump. We'll just chuck everything out here. And it's already going to be powered. Beardless Dane, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Someone getting scalded. Yes, Glacier Wolf is just a just a teensy bit scalded. It's probably fine. Probably fine. We're already getting a little low on our crude oil, but we we don't need a whole lot of it yet. We're not consuming any crude, we're just using it as a coolant. Oh, Sloder got Sloder got a little bit more hurt. Please don't die. And we've already got vacuum here. Cool, cool, cool. Um, can I perhaps replace that with a tile without letting any gas out or in? Dang, I survived. Am I dead? <laughs> what do you mean, dang, I survived? Refinement, rock crusher, back here. Fantastic. How do you get punished in the game? Is there a join command? Uh, yeah, it is the reward down the bottom. But we've already, we've still got two people queuing up um, for a dupe name. So, just be advised of that before you decide whether or not you want to spend your points. I do, I, I am very picky with my dupes. I take my sweet time uh, expanding the number of dupes I have. Alright, so we put this here. And then we decom this. People are still getting scalded. How much iron do we have? 320. I could make one more uh, Atmo suit. Should deliver one here already. I am Sock, name a dupe. Okie dokie. And good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I want to replace this with a Atmo suit checkpoint, actually. Um, so I'm temporarily going to make this... Everyone's only allowed to go left. Oh, look at this tropical Paku. Uh, through this door, so we're not going to end up with people down here while we're trying to mess with this stuff. And then... Deek on this. Deek on that on that. Maybe... We can probably just leave that ladder here for now. Oh no, they can get around it anyway. So we're going to put... Stations. Uh, Atmo suit checkpoint. This way. And Atmo suit dock. This way. And from now on, when people go down here, they won't be getting scalded, nor do they care if there's no oxygen. I mean, they already didn't care if there's no oxygen. But this will obviously be a bit more effective. 
Um, we're slowly getting the water that I'm looking for in here. I want just a little bit of water in front of all these machines. So that we can be sure that they don't go over 100 degrees. Or so. Before the water flashes to steam. Okay, we can swap this out now. How's our gas pumps over here? Or gas pipes. Taking their sweet time. As it turns out. We have another Atmo suit. Fantastic. We deliver Atmo suit. Fantastic. We might need more. More gas pump here. Might be a good idea. Actually, I feel like I should put it over this side. And then I'd have to run this all the way over here. Or around here. But... Apparently we messed this up somehow. Build order. GG. Uh, good job, dupes. Decon that so that the door opens. Um, set it to open or auto. And now they can build the rest of this. Speaking of building the rest, tidy that up. Oh, and this needs to be set to make lime always. Anything that turns into lime gets turned into lime. Fantastic. Don't need these notifications. What are you standing idle where there's no gas for? Oh, and I should activate this now. Enable building. So we're going to want glass, and we're going to want to automate when we stop making glass, and just set this to forever. But don't do that until we've done the automation, otherwise we might just produce a lot of heat before we're ready. Seems good. Let's just copy settings across here in case we haven't already. We have fantastic two tons of ceramic, two tons of refined carbon. Very, very good. Um, and it looks like this is ready to go now. So we allow people through. And I guess Morpheus can do what he likes with this as well now. Fantastic. What the... Oh, Sigma Bean hasn't got a whole lot of training yet. No. Sigma Bean, no. Don't take the Atmo suit for a spin when you're only going to get two feet down here. I'm indecisive, okay? Indeed. Quite. 
It's all coming together. Yeah, it's getting there. Little by little. Okay, once I see water touching here, I think that'll be fine. Turns out water reserve. Pretty good still. Now we wait. How's this build going? It's slowly getting fantastic. Fantastic. Alright. How much lime do we have though? Curious. Uh, 165 kilograms. Which makes... 16, 100, uh, 1600 steel. It's a start. If we dig into where the poker shells have been living, we can get a whole lot of malt and stuff. Eggs and malt. Upper right corner of machine room needs its tile rebuilt. Oh, this? Yeah. Doesn't really matter, but yes. What are we printing? Supplying, doctoring, tidying, don't care. Let's get a wart seed. And pardon me while I get some water. Okay. So can we make some... Oh, that's enough. Halt. That will do for now. And I don't believe I set recipes for glass yet. There we go. So we'll do ten recipes for glass here. Before... We automatically stop, unless we actually build something out of glass. And yeah, that is our eventually steam room. Which is... I was going to say it looks quite cool at the moment, that's because that's vacuum. What's this? Why can't I mouse over it? What kind of egg is that? Shine egg? I think it's a shine egg. And here's our glass. Fantastic. And there's our steam already. Damn. Uh, maybe I underestimated just how much heat the uh, glass forge makes. Whoops. Oh, no. No, 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 no. How hot is it in here? 99 degrees. What did we make this out of? Oh, lead. I forgot. Um... It only costs... 25, right? 50. I need... 
a single recipe of steel. Why is that red? Iron 70 kilograms out of 20 kilograms. That sounds like enough to me. Why is this red? Hurry up and decon the liquid shutoff. And sweep the lead. And probably stop making glass for now, actually. It's raining, it's pouring. Alright, so what's our temp in here? About a hundred? About a hundred. Uh, I don't know how the rock crusher is sitting here at 29 degrees. It seems like... Oh, I see. It's getting hot enough for the water to flash to steam, but then the buildings aren't that hot, so the steam cools down, so it turns back into water. Alright then. Did we get any steel? Don't think so. Uh, no. So, why is this red? It said 70 kilograms out of... Oh, is this like backward? Okay, we need some iron first, I think. Make some iron. And stop yelling at me. And did that melt? Oh. <laughs> I think the liquid glass, because there was no atmosphere, uh, actually landed down here and melted the lead. So now there's no power for the glass forge. Um, because it melted the heavy watt conductive wire. That's fine for now. You need 70, it's backwards to me too, and I hate it, indeed. Yeah, 70 out of zero. Sounds like we need zero and we've got 70. Alright, there's our iron. Fantastic. And... Why does that say fifth? Why did you only pick up... Whatever. Whatever. Just hurry up and make our first bit of steel. Seventy kilograms slash twenty. Ki where did, where did the rest of the iron go? We don't have anything to consume it. Why is the, why is there iron here? Where, what are you? Why? Why? There's nothing else. That we're trying to build with iron. Why would they take it out of that room? We're not trying to store it anywhere. I'm pretty sure we're not trying to store it anywhere. Refined metal, iron, lead. That's sweep only though. Uh, refined metal, iron, lead. This is not sweep only. Okie dokie. Don't sweep the... Uh, don't pick up the iron automatically. That's... That's actually bad. My bad. Seventy kilograms out of fifty. Oh! Is that steel? That is steel. Fantastic. Alright, at last. 
Let's grab a liquid shutoff made out of steel, and then it will actually work. And then we just want to replace the rock crusher, which costs 800 out of steel, so that when we reach uh, 125 degrees, it's not going to take damage. Uh, and we might want to use a little bit of steel. What, how hot does this come out? Um... I'm pretty sure... Well, it definitely comes out at at least... 1127 degrees. And besides which, we don't have any other refined metals. Well, I do have... Um, iron. Could use that. What's the temperature? Refined iron. Uh, fifteen hundred thirty-four degrees. And steel is twenty-four twenty-six. Glass liquid. Uh, 1126. Iron would probably work, but I'm going to use steel anyway. Why risk it? I mean, it's not exactly a big risk, but still. Steel. Heavy what conductive? What? Why are you like this? There we go. Is that how that works? There we, there we go. Fantastic. Now, where are our glossy Dracos? We haven't been having much luck with those. Uh, it says 56% chance of laying a glossy Draclet egg. This one's only 15%. Maybe it just hasn't spent as much time in the hydrogen. Um, but whatever the case, 55% for every egg that comes from this guy, and we're not getting a glossy still. Seems bad. I guess we need to reach the point where, oh yeah, the liquid reservoir needs to be steel as well. So that's 400 so that it doesn't... I sh should have thought of that before I put that much crude in. It's not like I can upgrade planet, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find a temporary home for that crude oil. Which apparently we don't have that much of. Did I wreck this loop? Oh, I did. Maybe I sh I'll just leave it like that for now. All right, let's let's do it. Let's do this ahead of time. Temporary food oil reservoir. Um, I could just change this pipe a little bit, and then. bridge across here. It might be pumping a bit of heat into the base though. Well, it's going to be that regardless. Yeah. How is our heat? It's where it's supposed to be. That's what that's what's about to change. Um, come to think of it, I think for our temporary reservoir, 
I'll put it where it's going to get coolant run past it. It's also a very convenient layout with the pipes here. I think we'd better cut off the crude oil input from downstairs. And we'll just join that once we're ready. So we need 400 steel, plus 800 for this one, but I'm much more concerned about the liquid reservoir, because we can replace the rock crusher anytime. Why are they not building this? Insufficient resources steel, but it specifically said we had steel. Whatever, it can wait. Steel, 50 kilograms. What? Oh, this costs 100. Up. Fair enough. So why aren't we making more... How much iron ore do we have? 34 tons. That seems like a decent amount. Unless I misread it. Nope, 35 tons almost. Speaking of almost... 3.8 cycles before we finally get our cool, polluted water. And hopefully it's as simple as that. How did this end up being... not insulated? Also, why are they taking so long to make a piece of pipe? What are we printing? Uh, probably nothing. Decreased air consumption rate? That's pretty good. Gains morning attribute bonuses. Decreased calories. Bottomless stomach, that's bad. That's very bad. Decreased construction. Slickies? We're not ready for slickies, though. We are not prepared. I'm about to be so grumpy. Are you going to be upset if I don't grab the... Fine. Uh, can I, like, drop off the slicky eggs down here? They need carbon dioxide, right? Just make a supply bin. Bullying works? Oh no. I am melting. What's the temperature here? Well, it's sub 30 anyway. Not in this room, it's not. I need more um, Atmo suits, because only one person can come through here. I don't know how much of a problem that is right now, actually. Well, if you're going to just deliver one liquid bridge worth of stuff, then yeah, that is a problem. Alright, here's some more iron at last, which means some more steel. And we need like four more recipes to get our liquid reservoir.
maybe... I should have done a loop without the liquid reservoir. Just the bare minimum of crude oil and then added the reservoir afterwards, I think. Doesn't make it that much harder. Alright, so we need eggs. Critter egg. Uh, is it called lava egg? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's lava egg, right? Hilarious. Grabbing those eggs. Fantastic. And we're just going to have some wild slickies down below. I like how you said you aren't ready for slickies and you are literally in the oil biome. Well, I figured I would have to do some kind of ranching or something, but maybe not. Wait, did he only deliver one? Nope, we're good. We are fine. So what are we waiting for here? Nothing? Uh, waiting for materials. So it's just waiting for someone to bring iron in. Fair enough. This would probably go faster if we had more than one Atmo suit doc. You know what? I'm just gonna, once this guy comes back, disable this building. They can just hold their breath for now. They're not gonna get scalded in here because it's a vacuum. It's not that hot yet. That's looking a lot faster. <laughs> So once we get the uh, the central living area with the central Atmo suits, uh, duplicate throughput through here when it needs to be is going to be a lot higher. Evidently. Alright, how much steel do we have now? Don't have it displayed yet. We have 150. Three more recipes and we can replace the liquid reservoir. How long until our slickies hatch? Uh, why can't I click on it? Lava egg incubating. 6%, 5% per cycle. So after we get the cool polluted water. Please tell me it's not full of germs or something. 2.2 cycles till we find out. Fantastic. And there's our 350 steel. One more. No, he stopped at like 99%. No, he didn't. No, we're good. All right, let's get the crude oil out. And... Apparently... The crude oil here is at 200 degrees. Oh god. And there's no atmosphere, so it's not exchanging. We're just gonna have to make a exception to the rule here. Um, and then... Connect 
this until this empties. I could just delete the liquid reservoir. It would leave behind a like bottle of crude oil, but that would be a pain to get back in the system. So we won't be doing that. Um, does this actually fill up? I think it does. It's moving a little weird. Nope, there it goes. Why are you standing idle in the vacuum room? Morpheus. There you go. Alright. Uh, liquid reservoir is empty. Get out of here. Replace it with a steel one. And then we just have to put that crude oil back in. Did I not? There we go. Alright. Sweep the gold amalgam. Liquid reservoir made of steel. Fantastic. And then put this back the way it was. Oh, I see why they replaced that earlier. Yeah, that makes complete sense. Can we decon this? Yeah, yeah, we already were trying to. Okie dokie. It looks like the head of a big hammer. Maybe it would have been faster with an Atmo suit this time. Okay, we can now reconnect this. Actually, it already is. Now that it has somewhere to go, it's coming in. And we need... Does this already have... Yeah, 800 kilo. 800 kilo. Cool, cool, cool. So I want about double that in the liquid reservoir. Well, more like in the liquid reservoir plus everywhere else. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... So like 1,500 or so in here. It's going to take just a minute. Hello B, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are you allowed in without suit now? Yeah, I temporarily disabled the Atmo checkpoint just because they were being very, very slow. We do only have the one uh, suit dock here for the moment. Right, how much is this? 750. And 900. When do we print? Uh in 80 seconds. When do we erupt? In 0.7 cycles. Very exciting. All right, how much is this? 1100, 1110. Uh, so we want to stop it. Oh. Oh, we already need to bring more crude in for some reason. Okay. 
Um, snip that. And snip that. I like how the crew just teleports. With the reservoir. Alright, we can reconnect this now. Maybe all the loops should be connected to a storage so that I can mess with that stuff more easily. We do have a storage for polluted water and many storages for water. How much is this? 13, 1400. Almost there. Yay, indeed. And... Wait four cycles. Let's print. Gold amalgam, perhaps? Researching, digging, decorating. No, I think we're good. Uh, and there's the 1600. That's what I'm looking for. We can allow a little bit more in, that's fine. Alright. Polluted water in... 0.3 cycles. Point 0.2 cycles. When does it give us an actual countdown? Soon TM. Here we go, less than 100 seconds. 80 seconds left. That's game seconds, so a little bit faster. 58, 54, 50. Don't forget to reset the temp check on the oil line. Oh, good call, thank you. So this should be below 200 to make sure that the crude oil never gets to flash to petroleum because it turns out if you do that by heating it up with a metal refinery while it's in the metal refinery uh, it'll break the pipe even though it's converting from a liquid to a liquid all right let's see i see no germs I see polluted water. And it's as simple as that. We should probably make this airtight so that we're not getting polluted oxygen all over the place. Um, but yeah. Let's go. And it comes out at negative 10 degrees. Gonna need a door here, a manual airlock to be precise, if they'll hurry up and decon this thing. I love staring at one spot, waiting for dupes to do one thing so that I can give the orders that I wish I could give just immediately and move on. And then we have to wait through the night because they've gone to sleep. Much now better. Meanwhile, we're off gassing polluted water. I mean, polluted oxygen from the polluted water. Technically, polluted oxygen could get out here, but. That tile would have to not have any polluted water. So that's not going to happen. And once we reach 500 kilograms per tile, we'll switch on our liquid pump. Um, just so that we don't
waste too much uh, electricity on the liquid pump. And of course it's going to off-gas until it reaches like max pressure for polluted oxygen. Actually, how much pressure would be required? Does it even check? When it comes to polluted water off-gassing to make polluted oxygen, uh, is there a pressure limit or how does that work? Next dormancy is in 50 cycles. Average output is 956.4 grams per, per second. Damn, that's pretty good. Just under a kilo per second. Average. Uh, 369 seconds every 693. And 4.3 kilograms a second when it does erupt. Cool slush geyser for the win, indeed. Doesn't it just convert the O2 that's there rather than adding more pressure? Uh, no, you... Let me see if I can find an, an example. Uh, there's no room here. Uh, you actually lose polluted water and gain polluted oxygen when it's off-gassing like that. It converts itself. We should have no occasion to ever come in here again. at least for the foreseeable future. Alright. Well, that'll be good. Um, free water and free cooling. Um, naturally, we just shove it into the polluted water loop. And that will... Uh, get converted to water once the uh, container... The polluted water is getting too full. Uh, and later on we're going to have a thermo aqua tuna to suck in polluted water from this loop and cool it down. Alright, what's the temperature here? 82 degrees? It really is gonna take a while um, till we stop having a vacuum in here and I'm okay with that do we have a bit of steel we've got 50 kilograms I'd like to just get this out of the way so that I don't have to like remember it I can't stand feta, as in cheese. I think I'm baking today potatoes, leek, corn, ch chorizo, cream, feta cheese, and some spices. Nice. Alright, I think I'll just get this queued up ahead of time so I don't have to think about it. There we go. Once they finally make a little bit more steel. Hey, it's happening. Nope, never mind. <laughs> Just kidding. How can you hate Feta? That's crazy talk. I mean, I wasn't going to say it. I love some spinach and feta. Maybe I need to make the steel higher priority. That might be a good idea. We've 
definitely got enough iron. Everyone's doing everything but the steel. No! Oh, what happened to our power? What did happen to our power? Oh, this thing's not set up the way it was. Uh, that should probably... I had to do it up this way because pipes in this game are weird. On second thought, take it from the loop. Just like this. And don't decon that. No crazy talk is telling you that you have to hate feta. I used to work at a pizza place that got feta shipped in via five gallon buckets. I hated prepping that stuff for the day. Take the cube out of the brine, let it drain for 30, then break it up for use. Shut up, okay. So it's not even that flavor per se. I am embracing the petty. Uh oh. Okay, uh, where are we? That is steel, it's actually happening. Fe no! Why do you give up at 99%? Bruh. RimWorld had, like, pretty good waiting to prevent, like, W-E-I-G-H-T, uh, waiting to prevent that kind of behavior, like, years ago. They'd tend to stick to a task, unless there was some kind of emergency, or they were really tired or something. Chalky nature kind of gets me at times. Alright, we've come to an agreement. Um... Yes? No? Yes. Finally. Jeez. How bloody long does it take to get 100 steel? Honestly. Now we can get glass as well. Which means we can raise the temperature in here. Not that we should be rushing towards that. When do we get a glossy? 5%? What about this guy? 27%. I don't know if it's because they don't spend as much time in the hydrogen in this shape of room. Um, or if we've just had much worse luck than usual, or if it's a bit of both. But we are not doing as well with glossy Dracos as we normally would. Building, researching, decorating. Don't think so. Probably just take the dirt. Amazing teamwork until Damsel and T Hex will fight me for the last piece, indeed. Oh, someone got scalded or something, but I didn't see it. Uh, probably not scalded because they have to use a Atmo suit to come down here now. Uh, never mind. Okay. 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 Please do not stand under the liquid glass vent without... without an Atmo suit. That could be bad. More hydrogen for the Dracos? It's going to escape. Um, it's very finicky, the way gases behave in this game. See this? This is ex this is exactly why. Um, I never hooked this up. Oh, I see. So this is should be set to oxygen, right? 
Oxygen, oxygen. There we go. And we probably don't need that one anymore. Alright. I'm surprised how much power we seem to be getting just from our hydrogen. Definitely not complaining. Uh, what? Oh, we got more melted lead, I think. I don't see any lead here, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, lead automatically gets picked up. Okay. So somehow the molten glass flowed over this way. Probably has something to do with the fact that there's no atmosphere. Normally the molten glass goes solid before it hits the ground, like well before it hits the ground. Um, but because this is a vacuum, the liquid actually reaches the bottom. And... Um... Probably because there was a water tile here. Maybe it normally would have flowed both ways. But it just flowed to the left. So I guess... We need another 200 steel to make that work. Is it safe to put this on infinite yet? It'll probably be slow enough that we'll notice if there's a problem. Probably. First of all, we need everything in this room to reach 100 degrees before the steam will stay in the air. Um, and then we need another... Two, um, uh, let's see, we need another hundred, oh, we need another 25 degrees before the rock crusher has a problem after that. By which point we should have been able to replace it with steel. And that's it, there's nothing else to replace. Alright. Maybe I should just make some plastic. Like, I literally need... What is it? 200 plastic? Um, just to get one steam turbine, so that we can set this up so that we don't have to worry about the very slow accumulation of heat. What's involved? There's like three steps and they're all horrible. If we don't do it the Draco way. Plastic solid. We need petroleum, so we need to either heat up uh, crude oil quite a lot, but not too much. We kind of need to tame a volcano for that. I don't really feel ready to do that just yet, because I want to do other things when I do tame the volcano. Um, it outputs carbon dioxide as well as steam when we use the polymer press. That's nasty. Uh, and to make petroleum the old-fashioned way, We need crude oil into refinery, which also spits out natural gas. This is why I use Dracos for plastic. We only need, like, a glossy Draco to appear before this reaches like 300 degrees or something. As it is, it's not even keeping steam in the air. It's all raining back down. Can you hang cheese on the ceiling to get the Drekkers to stay up there? Um... Hmm... What 
what options would there be to maximize their time up there? If not for this stuff, I could build a bunch of uh, pneumatic doors and like manually close them and keep the Dracos there. Do the pincher plants... I think Damsel was using these. Do they actually grow in hydrogen? Uh, let's see. Air pressure doesn't care what gas it is. Temperature has to be over 35 degrees. That's the problem. Fertilization and irrigation polluted water. So the real pain with these is maintaining the temperature. Although, if you're slowly getting cooked, um, 35 degrees is actually kind of convenient. They'd still need to get to the mealwood, though. That's a good point. Yeah. Can glossy dracos, like, if you've already got glossies, and then you feed them something like pinch of pepper, can they stop making glossies, like they'll just drop regular Draco eggs or something. These are the important questions. Are our plants okay? Body temperature. No, they're not. 32 degrees. Um, okay. I know just what to do about this. We don't need that pipe anymore, luckily. We'll take polluted water from the loop, which is looking rather sparse right now for some reason. We'll figure that out in a moment. Um, these ones are still growing. 29 degrees, okay. So we're going to do some radiant pipe. Lead will be fine. Hmm. I thought I already figured out the shape I was going to use with these, and that wasn't quite it. Either way. I think I would rather have it look a little bit more symmetrical. So, radiant pipe like so. And like this, and then instead of crude, this is connecting to polluted water. I think glossies have a percentile just like regular to create two types of eggs, just with a higher chance of glossy. Makes sense. Uh, they can't actually reach that tile? What the hell? Oh, I really wish the tubes could reach just a little bit further. Like, the size of the buildings combined with how far the dupes can or can't reach is very irritating. Very often. Um, I guess we'll decon the grooming station just temporarily. Doesn't need any settings or anything. Please build the ladder first, so that we can build this, so that we can get rid of the ladder. Wait, now it says it's reachable. Whatever, just get it done. No. There we go. Decon ladder. And replace grooming station. Make it out of whatever. Iron is pretty common. On this seed. Is it raining there? Uh, I don't think so. Why? 
what happened while I was away? Oh, you mean up here? Or like IRL? Can you hear what sounds like rain? I certainly wish it were raining. Still 30 degrees here at 8.30 p.m. That room. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Alright. Can we get this built again, please? There's our coolant. At 24 degrees. Mealwood should start growing again soon. Um, its internal temperature is a bit slower to adapt to the room temperature. But it is dropping very, very slowly. 31.2, 31 31.1, 31.0. Fantastic. It's flashing to steam, but cooling down quick back to liquid water. Yes. Rest of the room is vacuum. Yep. So once these buildings uh, reach 100 degrees, I think that's when we'll see the steam remaining in the room. Um, but yeah. So what's the air temperature in here? Um, significantly below 30 already. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. Now our polluted water is saturated. Hmm. I don't know how necessary the radiant pipe is here since the, since the water is moving through here slowly in particular. It's got a lot more time to equalize temperature with the room, so probably regular pipe is actually sufficient. Especially when we're covering an area this large. And grab that precious lead back. Lamelle. Did we finish this build? Nope. I, I could have sworn I clicked submit bioscan ages ago. Maybe we had to have a path. Like, I can't just click it and then order them to dig to it. That's probably it. Can they reach up here? One, two, three, four. I think... I think I cancel this so that they can climb up and get all of that built. Is it going to be steam room? It will, yes, eventually. That's why we have Atmo suit to go in. And speaking of Atmo suits, we can now afford another one or two. Let's get another suit dock down here. And what are we printing? Can't cook. That's the only downside. Wrenching one. Uh, we've got enough ranches, I think. This is... We've got all this covered. Ranching, supplying, building. Supply a builder isn't bad. And a spare rancher at that. Sure. Wait, how's our food? 117,000. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So this will be Boovin. Welcome aboard. And we need to do Boovin's 
Well, I was going to say Boovim skills, but Boovim doesn't have any room for skills right now. Start with improved construction, I guess. Uh, Sigma Bean has a couple of points to spare. Drilling 2, let's go. And we need to do the prios for Boovim. Um, building, supplying, storing. Make it supplying and building. And then storing, tidying. You've got a little bit of doctor skill, I guess. And that, that's pretty much it. Ranching as well, I suppose. Ranching as well. It's always raining in here now. The automation wire is 130 degrees. But... What the f... Uh, it seems like the glass somehow reached this tile and destroyed the automation wire. So let's use steel for that as well. We're needing to use steel for an awful lot of things this early. <laughs> Awful lot. How much have we got? 15 kilos left. Yeah, we're about to run out. Um, What do we need? Nothing. We just need duplicate labor. Wait, there's no input fluid. Oh, it's too hot. Because there's no gas, it's not exchanging heat. Okay, we're going to have to lower our standards a little bit. Let me just double check. Uh, no. We can go to like 250. That's the absolute limit. Remind Plan fail. Well, ironically, we need more heat uh, to exchange heat with the room with the uh, crude oil pipe. Unless I want to do some kind of induction panel thing. But can I even do that? No. Not where the sensor is going to be. What? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I need that crude oil not to reach 250. Because we gain, with the steel recipe anyway, we gain 138.4 degrees. I'm rounding it up to 150. Uh, and if we hit 400 degrees, it'll change, or maybe plus a degree or two, uh, it'll change to petroleum and pipes will burst. So ironically, yeah, it's kind of a catch-22. We need more heat in the room to keep steam in the air um, so that we can exchange heat at this tile. That's kind of unexpected. Uh, maybe I could have designed it so that the temperature sensor was down where there would be water. But in the long run, it won't be necessary. Alright, that should be all the steel we need. And maybe I'll find some way to... to pump in heat in here from other sources or something? Overconfidence indeed. 
I just used glass in the refinery and steel production gives it plus a thousand? Wait, 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 wait. You used liquid glass in the ref metal refinery? Lance, you absolute madman. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Liquid glass has a specific heat capacity of 0.2. Well, that's part of the reason why normally before it hits the ground it's already gone solid. Uh, it does not hold a lot of heat. So yes, running it through the metal refinery is going to increase the heat by a lot. No capacity, indeed. Uh, freezes at 11.26 degrees. Evaporates at 23.56. And I don't know why the dupes don't build this. Or why we don't have glossy dracos by now. So you made glass gas? Alright. What else are we doing? Finishing this build? Fantastic. Let's see. We need a bridge, and then we need this to go here. Yeah, I think that's right. Babe, look, I am gassing glass. Alright. Build it, build it, build it, build it. Apparently we have to dig this away before we can supply. Almost there. One more. Fantastic. And link this like so, cut this off. And that greatly extends our hydrogen loop. It's going to take just a little while to fill up, or is it? Not really. Yeah, no, that's not going to take long to fill up at all. And then we've got twice the AETN, and we've actually got cooling from both sides of the base. Very nice. Alright, what should we focus on for now? And should I put some other gas in here? Just so that... Like, if I, if I just put in a little bit of oxygen, and I do mean a little bit... Um, wouldn't that mean that we are not stuck with this conundrum? What's the little pipe pointing down from the EIN? EIN. The anti-entropy? Oh, uh, that was just here to start with. I, d I didn't build that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, unless you were asking about how this bit works as well. Um, we pretty much just run pipe past it, but also let it go in as much as it wants to. Alright, we've got our work cut out for us catching up with our hydrogen now. Is that? I thought that was oxygen. I swear to god, if that was oxygen. Um, but yeah, this is maybe illustrates it a little bit better. We jump over here, we go past, and we go in if necessary. Why not just put the pipe into the water? Uh, I just don't want to. Uh, well, let's see. I would have to run the pipe, I'd have to move this pipe, and or use bridges, and then I'd have to put this down here, and more to the point, 
Uh, I really want the liquid shutoff to be as close as possible to the metal refineries. So that the temperature that's read here accurately reflects the temperature of the crude oil going into the metal refineries. Although I guess it's not that important because um, the crude oil will tend to be hotter than the ambient temperature. So if anything, it'll go down. Eh, even so. Um, Alright, I think I'd like to put just, just a teensy bit of gas in here. How about... How about just a wee smidge of hydrogen? Since it's got a high conductivity. They're not going to be able to reach this again. Uh, you know what? Bring it all the way over here. Just so we don't have to do the ladder nonsense again. Steam turbines can't accidentally take in hydrogen, can they? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hydrogen's lighter than everything. Steam turbines are at the top of the room. This is a bad idea. Is steam lighter than oxygen? Or is it going to, like, take up some of the same space and stuff? Ah. Uh. Why'd this have to get so complicated? Why indeed? If I do remove this mesh tile, this building stops working. I could always temporarily put some temporarily put so much water in that it's going to flood all the way up to here, and then I'd have to pump it out. That, yeah, that's nonsense. Hmm. What if I do use a conduction panel? If this bit here goes round in circles, and it goes through a conduction panel, well, it has to exchange heat with, like, a building or something, not just the vacuum, because vacuum is nothing. Um, I suppose it could exchange heat with this, which isn't touching any water. That doesn't sound safe. Could exchange heat with one of these. This is such a mess. What a mess. If we could have the sensor and the conduction panel in the same place, that'd be very nice. But it, no, it'd have to be touching a building, though. Back, now it, damn it. Damn it, Dag, nab it. This is actually so surprisingly hard. What do we do? I was thinking of the return pipe. The return pipe. We need to slow it down to make sure it exchanges enough heat, though. I'm just going to try putting a little oxygen in. And if it causes problems for the steam turbine, we'll deal with that at a later date. So, here... I could actually just connect it here, probably. Wow. 
doesn't need to go up here at all, does it? Yoink. And let's not connect it at all. I, I want to put a tiny amount of oxygen in, if at all possible. Like, just barely any. I just need some conductivity with the room. And I'm hoping the steam is lighter than oxygen. But I think I've seen steam, like, just explode out everywhere when there was a mistake. So, scoop out another egg. Uh, so, I don't know if it's going to cause any problems with the steam turbine, or if the steam turbine is kind of like the carbon skimmer that implicitly filters and doesn't have those problems. Doctoring, tidying, ranching. Uh, I don't think so. Get the machines up to 100C, then pump it out. Yeah, well, the trouble is, uh, once I want to pump it out, like, good luck finding the oxygen, right? Because the room's going to be full of steam as well. There's going to be, like, one tile of oxygen somewhere. All right, can we build this faster now that it's morning? Here comes more chilly, polluted water. Fantastic. Very cool. Uh, I was going to say no pun intended, but I guess if I saw that pun coming, I would be unrepentant. Oh, what is this mess? That's not going to speed up our, our liquid. I wonder if if I bring it in this way, it's going to have priority over the rest of the loop. Do I even want that, though? Maybe... Oh, why don't we bring this in this way as well? Yeah, 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 that's going to get hard prioritized. So then... That'll hard prioritize the input from up here, which reduces any odds of blocking the salt slush geyser. Or the, sorry, the cool slush geyser. My first one was a salt slush geyser. Fantastic. So that has priority. Why is this, why is it still, oh, oh, oh. I was going to say, why is it still slow on this end? Presumably there are more mistakes like this. There we go. That's what I was expecting and wanting to see. That's more like it. Alright, we actually have some proper flow with our polluted water loop. And mealwood is growing, has been for a while probably. This one's still too hot. Really? 30.7. What's so special about these two? It is just slightly hotter on these two tiles, for some reason. Did we get that build? We did not. Hurry up. They're going to bed again. God damn it. Second suit is ready. It is indeed. Thank you. 
Uh, and there's probably another one ready for down here. Because I think I ordered two, and I think I checked we had enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At Moosuit times two. That'll speed things up a little bit. The temp of the farm tiles was what matters. Um, so what's it made of? Dirt? It's made of clay. Or dirt. How much dirt? 100 kilo? What, what is the specific heat? Etc. 1.48 thermal conductivity 2. Melting point 326. So how does that compare to, I don't know, sandstone? 1.48 and 2. Not really concerned about the temperature ranges for this. Oh, where the bloody hell? Here we go. 0 0.8, 2.9. So dirt has perhaps a relatively high uh, specific heat capacity. Compared to all of this stone and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dirt actually has a... Out of out of the small sample I've picked, kind of at random. Uh, dirt actually has a relatively high specific heat. So... I still don't know why, like, these two tiles were significantly hotter. But... Is that what I think it is? I think it is. Look at him. That's our first glossy. And isn't he adorable? We did it. It is done. Alright. Uh, speaking of we did it. Oh. That's going to have to refill. It's already refilled. How's our oxygen? Looks fine. It has to go through this filter, so... Yeah, these are each 500 grams per second. It takes two of these to fill a pipe, so that's actually normal. Why does this side look so much more backed up, though? Probably because it was here first. You know what? I bet I can make it a bit more symmetrical. There we go. Nope. It went straight back to how it was. Hmm. Interesting. Um, but yeah, oxygen's actually saturated over here. Will it go through here? Yes, it will. And I just want to see a bit of oxygen in here to find out if that's enough. Oh, that is... Okay, wait, 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 wait. First of all, the oxygen when I first put it in here would have been all around the uh, gas vent. But that said, um, the crude oil is indeed adjusting its temperature relatively quickly. So the whole system should work now. I just hope that oxygen doesn't in any way mess up the steam turbine. We can always get rid of it later, although it might be a bit of a pain. If you have compost closer than dirt storages, they bring dirt as fertilizer regularly and its temp can be Big difference. They bring dirt as fertil- oh, as in they bring fertilizer to like the farm station? We're actually not using any fertilizer yet. Oh, we've got idols. 
Um, let's do some make work. Just in case. It's a lot of iron. That really is a lot of iron. Where else do we have stuff that we want to work on that's going to take ages that's not a super high priority? Um, probably digging around the volcanoes and stuff? Would any harm come from digging this out for the most part? Maybe not. I kind of need to design around it first though. Oh, let's dig over... Yeah, yeah, we've got our Atmo suits now. Um, let's dig over towards... Now, uh... Wasn't there another... Yeah, here it is. We kind of already dug to the copper volcano. This is... Salt water or something. Salt water geyser. Not going to need to worry about that for a while. Um, where are my other geysers? Where's the iron one? Up right, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's tame the iron volcano first. Oh, it's way over here. That definitely needs some work. Um, should I just dig through this chlorine? Uh, I don't want to deal with it yet. Let's go through here. Where am I going? Up here? This way, and then we'll start thinking about what we're going to do with it. Meal would need like 10 kilograms of dirt per cycle, indeed. You have an oil vent, it looks like, in the lower left. Oil vent? You mean one of these? A reservoir? Yeah, we have to build a... Uh, we have to build a nasty machine on that before we can actually take advantage of it. I think I'd rather just go with Slicksters. Well, I haven't gotten to the point where I'm, like, consuming petroleum at scale before. Uh, where is it? Oh yeah, utilities? Nope. Stations. Refinement. Oil refine. No. Is this? No, 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 no. I can't remember what it's called. There's a machine that goes on the oil reservoir to make it like a geyser. Oh, here it is. Oil well, right next to the scrubber. It kind of looks similar. So it needs uh, a kilogram per second of water and 240 watts. And we get 3.3333 kilograms per second of crude. Lots of heat. Overheat temp starts at 2000. That's pretty generous. Didn't realize that. Fair enough. Now you want slickies? Hush. Speaking of slickies, um. Where are our eggs? Oh. Oh, viability. Incubation is at 76%, so it's like five more cycles. So 261. About two, uh, cycle 261, we should see some slickies down there. Some nice wild ones that we don't have to feed. So I'm not following what... Oh, it's because... So I obviously want to consume polluted water, turn it into regular water when this is getting too full. 
But I'd love to somehow do that in a way where we don't make our coolant loop sparse. And I'm not sure how I can have it both ways. They look cute, indeed. Lots of things in this game look cute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Budgie Bum is just zooming. Hey, look, copper. Actually, they need like two ladders there, right? Give me what little copper we can still have. How's our hydrogen loop? Looking pretty good, actually. And temperatures. Oh, that looks weird. I love that we've got cold hydrogen coming in from both sides of the base. That is mm, delicious. Uh, and if we so desire, we can, just like we did with the polluted water, uh, we could drag some hydrogen from the main loop into any other, any room that needs a little bit of extra help staying cool. You can also automate it to actually control the temperature in a room, but obviously we'd need like a, a gas shutoff for that. Ooh. Yeah, the oxygen in this room is already nearly 100 degrees. That did not take long. We got 200 steel spare. Fantastic. I would expect more, actually, since we're not short on resources. Maybe I should make this a higher priority. Just, just maximize the priority. Why not? Never enough steel. And I've got a pretty small, uh, like, buffer of steel that I'm trying to get with automation. Just because the weight plates only go to two tons. You can, if you so desire, make a storage somewhere that is automatically going to pick up steel. Um, the dupes will take it there, rather. And depending on how you limit it, um... You can change the amount of steel you're trying to make that way. Spicy tofu. How's our food? Pretty good, actually. Still 100k. We'll take the gold. Why not? And then... I want to just start taming an iron volcano, to be honest. So, petroleum, we mostly start consuming that when we're up in space, right? I'm thinking the regular volcano that we've got here is the natural place to turn crude oil into petroleum. Um, we're mostly going to want it to come up here, right? see. I think it also goes into some recipes with the Molecular Forge. We need it to make super coolant. What the heck is fullerene? Uh, additional states, carbon. Liquid carbon. Spherical molecules of carbon. Where do we get it? From other planets, I guess? Planetoids? Visco gel? Jet suit? The 
bad way to make plastic. You can actually get a molten slickster to make it as well. Although it consumes half of the... Oh, wait, that's carbon dioxide. You're just casually turning carbon dioxide into petroleum? Okay. Hermit wanted spicy tofu? Did he? Deliver food to the mailbox. Spicy tofu. So he did. Seems like it's been consumed already. Okay. Oh, this is... Wait, wait, really? No way. Iron Volcano. On the left. Mm, pretty close to our base, really. And what is this one we're digging towards that I also marked with an I? Iron Volcano. We've got two Iron Volcanoes. <laughs> This seed is OP. So we got copper, iron, iron, regular volcano, uh, cool polluted water at negative 10 degrees. And then we've got cool... No, it's not cool. It's just hot salt water. Uh, and of course we've got a cool steam vent, which I'm not even interested in at this point, to be honest. I mean, I'm sure the cool slush geyser isn't going to keep up with our needs by itself. Um, but it will for a while. Fantastic. Oh, also, I should probably disconnect this. Since we're having our coolant go this way. Maybe I'll just leave that there for now. Alright, what's the temperature in here? 100 and so on. We need to replace the rock crusher already. How much steel do we have? 215. That is less than, that's barely more than a quarter of what we actually need. Um, can we stop the iron for a minute? I'll just leave that there. Um, awaiting coolant, you say? Oh yeah. Probably some more radiant pipe might be a better idea now. Even if it's going to be better later on to have less of it. Um, suffice to say, it's easy to change it back and more is better at the moment. I just hope that the output glass doesn't melt a lead pipe that's off to the side here. So now we can cool three tiles of this at a time. And refill. How much does it take before the recipe can work? Waiting for materials. Crude oil, 270 kilograms. Oh hey, another broken egg. Thank you so much. Okay. What's next, I wonder? Why is Pip 
temperature. 14.9 degrees. Why is this pip so cool? He's like half the temperature above zero of everything else around here. What? Um, that's pretty strange, especially considering animals are normally quite warm. He's adorable. <laughs> Look at him. He's he's just chilling. I'm looking for another pip just so we have an example. Now, I'm pretty sure pips don't normally walk around 14 degrees cooler than the environment. Ate a frozen tree branch? I don't know. We got glossies. How long until he's an adult? So we can get some plastic. And why is it so hard to click on him? Bruh. There we go. Let's see. Age 9.63. Wait, that's liquid pipe. God, God damn it. I could have sworn I clicked on the Draco. No, 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 no. Oh, this is... This is actually maddening. I, I can't click on the little guy. An eldritch being of unknown origin, indeed. Alright, let's just click on Draco. I want to see. Does it say when they reach adulthood? No? Hmm. Okay. Just have to wait, I guess. Oh, I clicked on him. He is only five cycles old. Out of 150. I'm guessing he's going to be at least 10 or 15 cycles before he's an adult, right? Fantastic. Click like one field below slash behind it. Oh, there it is. Indeed. Merville, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the tip. Is this guy... This is probably the same guy. He's, he's at negative 15 and just vibing. Comfort range, livable range, negative 30 to 70. Okay. That's the only other pip I've seen. Oh, he's, he's up to a green temperature now. How did he get so cold? Earlier on. That's so strange. Okay. Did we dig over here? Kinda. Yes. What's that? Polluted oxygen... Let's dig around and find our iron volcano. And let's also dig over this way and find our other iron volcano. Let's see which one's going to be easier to set up in the meantime. Is that sand? Yeah, it is. out for the shifty sand. And how am I going to exploit this volcano? I 
it is just off to the side of the main bus. I don't know if I'm actually going to build, like, the main base that high up, but just in case, that's our standard place for a door. I've got idlers again. This keeps happening on this save, and I've never, like, had that be a thing before this far into the game. Uh, is there a universe where I want them to have access like this? Probably not. No, I don't think so. Let's start with... Ceramic? Ceramic's quite cheap, right? Apart from the heat cost. Let me just double check what goes into it again. Uh, let's see. Clay, which we've got a lot of, and coal, which we've got a lot of. Cool, cool, cool. Alternatively, we could look for, like, obsidian, which isn't too common, to make our insulated tiles around the volcano. I'm definitely want to go to going to want to do the shenanigans on this side, a little bit further away from the main bus. And can we ladder here? I don't think... yeah, we can. Alright. Oh, they're leaving. I thought they were about to build this, so I thought someone was going to get stuck. Where's that water coming from? Oh, up here? Sure. And until I think this through, let's just dig up there. Do I want to pour salt water into my base? Maybe not. What are we printing? Free iron? We've got three triple interest dupes here. Let's see what we get. Cannot doctor, dig, research, cook. Immune to food poisoning, night owl. Not bad. Uh, suit wearing, building, decorating. That doesn't sound great. Can't doctor, can't dig. Not too bad. No downs, no real downsides, like direct downsides. Irritable bow, grilling, supplying, building, digging. Hmm. How much food do I have? 111. Am I going to be greedy and have another supplier builder? Supplier Builder Digger, the things that I always am waiting to see done. Why not? We already gave Boovim a mook. Mr. Ray Ray. Print. Fantastic. Mr. Ray Ray uh, could probably start with... construction. And priorities. Building. It was building, digging, and supplying, right? Seems good. Alright, hopefully some of our building projects will get done just that little bit faster now. Maybe I should drop the salt water in here. Can we do that? Probably.
Okay. How's our steel coming along? Very, very slowly. As freaking always. I thought we had all of our materials, though. I've set it to max priority. We've got all the materials we need. Oh, input fluid? Yeah, that's why it's so slow right now. Should probably have more radiant pipe. I'm going to disable glass for now. Oh, it's already... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just leave it like that. Um, and we'll make these radiant pipe. And they're going to get swapped out for... Um... Blank on word. We're going to turn these insulated pipes into radiant. Probably all of this should be radiant, to be honest. We're never going to let the steam room go above 200. Because that's our max efficiency for using a uh, steam turbine. So probably, probably all of this should be faster heat exchange, question mark? Probably making some kind of mistake here. I mean, I know I need to change some of these to steel so that the glass doesn't wreck them. But other than that, is there any downside to just making all of this radiant? Because it's not going to get hotter after it reaches here, before it goes into the metal refinery. If I let more oxygen in, uh, it'll exchange temperature faster as well. So that's our actual bottleneck right now. It's just worse than I thought it would be. I also kind of expected the liquid reservoir to exchange heat a little bit faster than this. It's not like putting liquid in the metal refinery where it doesn't change at all. Um, but suffice to say, it does have some insulation. Can't wait to see the Iron Volcano in all its probably bluish glory. Oh, there it is. And it seems to be trying to erupt right now. Fantastic. Iron, 7.9 kilograms per second at 2526 degrees. That seems like a lot. Average output requires analysis. Of course it does. And how are we going to tame this volcano? We can sweep this away now. And dig this out, but not that tile. As far as I know, they cannot heat exchange with mesh tiles. And they usually have most heat exchange from the tile under them. Wait, what, what are we talking about? Mesh tiles. Do you mean these? Most, ex most heat exchange from the tile under them, as in the, the tile that they're on. Also, why is this busted? The water reservoir. Oh, right. 
I see, I see. Okay then. What are you doing? He's just very slowly walking over here to build something. Fantastic. Did not pick up the glass. Actually, you could pick up the glass as long as it's not off of the pressure plate. Wait, really? Building flooded? How much water is here? 193... 194 grams. 194 grams of water. Building flooded. What? What? Okay. All the more reason to flash it to steam, I guess. How's our temperature here? Not dropping as quickly as I would like, but we are doing it in parallel. Why? What? 218 degrees. Okay. Why is pipe exploding? Huh? We didn't... Is there crude oil here now? What the f... What? What just happened? Hello? I... I, I thought earlier when there was a tile missing here, like... I didn't accidentally, like, decon that instead of replace it, right? What? Why are pipes suddenly... revolting? How, how hot is this crude oil? Oh, oh, how hot can crude oil go? 400, right? And lead can only go to... Lead... Solid. Can only go to 327. I'm surprised this didn't happen sooner, actually. When we just had it here. Okay, that has to be not lead. Um... The crude oil on the floor is unfortunate. We can mop it up or something. Um, let's see. Radiant pipe made out of iron. We need to make a bunch of iron. Ugh. Okay, you know what? Let's just double check. Iron... Not iron ore. Iron solid, 1534 degrees, that should be fine. Let's put it there. And here. And here. And here. And here. And here. Is that actually hot enough to deal with glass? I think, I think it has to be steel, right? 1534. Yeah, let's call that 1535 degrees. Glass. Uh, goes liquid a little bit cooler. So depending how hot it is when it comes out of here, that might be fine, actually. And then... Um, for the moment, we're just going to go this far. And then we'll turn all of this back into... Regular pipe, not lead. Oh, 
Why does it pop here or here as opposed to here? I wonder. If you want steam in the room, why not build temp shift plates for the heat transfer so it doesn't go above 327? Well, I'm going to replace the lead pipes regardless. I do wish we had some more... Uh, some more refined iron first. Alright. Um, let's see. So up here we're going to want... I still haven't come up with a solution looking at what Damsel was doing with the volcanoes. Uh, like the most elegant solution to suck heat from the magma, but then also make use of the solid uh, granite or whatever it is that's left over. We can easily put like a metal door. It's going to have to be made of steel, I think. Um, does it matter if it's manual airlock? Probably. Yeah, we probably want to make it open and close quickly. Uh, so we have like door... No, no, no. We have metal tile. And then door and then metal tile. So the metal tiles conduct... And we use a door to basically, as a switch, to allow it to conduct or not. So that's going to leave a bunch of uh, granite or whatever this igneous rock, I think it is, that this magma turns back into after it cools down on this tile. Um, let's see. Metal tile... I'm just thinking out loud here, it's not time to build this yet. Yes, tame the volcano, indeed. Glass Forge comes out at 1900, god damn it. We're just not going to use the Glass Forge for a minute. Um... We could obviously make the bucket a bit bigger to make sure the volcano outputs everything if we so desire and we'll need a steel uh, auto sweeper well if it's in vacuum should it be in vacuum we can either make this a steam room or it can be vacuum and then we could drop this stuff into a steam room Yeah, I don't know. Whatever the case, we need more steel before we go trying to tame this. And back to the perpetual problem of trying to make steel. Why is this flooded? I think the crude oil, actually, is why it's flooded. Alright, let's replace these pipes. Some of these will have to be steel. Dupes are going to take their sweet time finishing the job, of course. What, what do you call that? Hurry up. Construction jobs. Much now bitter. Ray Ray is rather slow, as expected at this point. Apparently, this is more important than our priority nine job. Fantastic. 
Alright, so as for iron... I don't think I'll bother... using the magma... in the same way with, like, iron and copper... Uh, volcanoes. We'll probably just do the standard build with those. Maybe with active cooling this time. Um, again, we need a bunch of steel before we can seriously think about this. Need more hours on the treadmill, indeed. Alright, in any case, we'll need some insulated tiles. Um... Yeah, we'll probably just make this a steam room, right? It's getting very hard to think. I might finish this one a bit earlier than usual. What are we printing? Nutrient bar, sure. Hydrogen's doing well, at least. We don't have random oxygen in here. Fantastic. Good. I really just want to see steel coming in. And the flooding is... The, the technical flooding has stopped. Very inconsistent. How much steel do we have? 315? Okay. Just so I don't have to think about this. Actually, what does glass go into? Like, very few things, right? We can just ignore it for a while. I wish it would show me what it can be used for. Obviously, window tile. Um, solar panels, which we're a while away from making. And the heck is glass blowing? Oh, it's for making a sun lamp. And we can use it to make an arrow pot. You can just use diamond for that anyway. There's so much diamond on the normal map. Hey, our Draco's grown up at only nine cycles. Does this mean we have plastic now? Or has he not been shaved yet? Not yet shaved. I think I just saw that we have a glossy Draco egg, though. Gr glossy Dreclet egg. Fantastic. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? No, 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 stop. Oh, you're kidding. No, no, no. Allow, allow glossy. Poor glossy. Are you going to actually groom him this time? Or maybe... Shear him, even? How tame is he? Maximum tame. Not entirely happy. Why is he unhappy? Other than the fact that we arbitrarily wrangled him. Is this it? Yes. And, and Larius is blocking our view. There it is. There's our first plastic. 150 kilo. Easy as that. Uh, so I think one more of those and we could make our steam turbine. Still way ahead of actually needing it. Steel as ever is the problem. But we have the materials. So... It's getting this crap to work properly. That's the actual problem. By which I mean... We need steam in here. I'm pretty sure the heat exchanges much more quickly when there's steam in the room than oxygen. So we can probably check that right here. Steam. Steam gas. Thermal conductivity 0.184. 
Specific heat capacity is huge. Oxygen. Probably helps if we had more oxygen than a, a few grams as well. But I didn't think we'd need more than that. Just to reach a critical mass here. Uh, in due time. Let's see. Oxygen gas. Uh, wow. Thermal conductivity 0 0.024 versus 0 0.184. Steam is... I mean, I expected as much, but the scale, steam is so much more conductive. It's probably comparable to hydrogen. 0 0.184 versus 0.168. Yeah, steam is almost as conductive as it gets. As far as gases are concerned. Um, I might try getting rid of this crude oil that managed to fall out of the system. That was a surprising... No, don't mop up all the water! Uh, why are you like this? Okay, I think that is all the crude. Cool. Great. Wonderful. What's iron's... Iron ore's blah blah blah. Iron ore melting point. 1534.9. And I think this is the same. Uh, iron. Fifteen thirty four point nine, yes. The impurities don't change it. That's looking a little bit quicker. Nope, never mind. Could I just put more oxygen into the room? It'll probably make it conduct faster. We've already got some oxygen in here, so it'll be the same job to remove it. Just take a little bit longer. Oh, that's... That is exceeding expectations. That is exchanging heat significantly more quickly than I was expecting already. With only a few hundred grams, a couple of hundred grams per tile. Actually, it's kind of like slowing down. I think maybe it was because the oxygen that we were putting in the room was colder? That's probably it. And it was coming out this gas vent much colder than the room. Deceived again. Okay. Uh, we can at least make some sti- Hey, we've got 415. That's a start. We're actually halfway to replacing the rock crusher. And then we can not stress anymore about things overheating in this room. With steam, easy to go above 20 kilograms per tile. With other gases, it's not that easy. Yeah, except with steam... I mean, if you're doing a steam room with, like, a uh, steam turbine, you actually need to keep the steam within reason because the liquid vent won't output. Overpressure at only one kilo. So you want like, uh, say half at most. If you're filling up a vacuum room with water that's eventually going to become steam, at most you want like half. And if you're doing a volcano, I believe it's only 150 kilograms per tile. That'll prevent it from outputting. 
surprisingly little, which means we get significantly less uh, thermal mass to fill up for the gas. We could maybe... Maybe I could, like, heat pump. Well, not pump, but if I use conductive... Uh, I almost said conductive tile. Bunker tile, which... That's not what I'm... And metal tile. If I use metal tile to conduct the temperature from the magma... Um, and we have our... Door that we can turn on and off here, but also... We could have a vacuum here. And this could conduct up to... A regular steam room above. But is there any advantage to that? If I do have a steam room in the volcano... Well, there is one advantage. We can control the temperature easily. And keep the steam temp at like 200. Or if we wanted to do self-cooling, like 130. Um, the volcano is sporadic. It's very spiky. It's going to output lots of heat and then no heat at all. And with a mechanism we could suck heat away from the magma into a steam room at our leisure. I think I do want to go for 200 degree steam though this time. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be about it for today. It is very hot and it's sucking all the energy out of me. It's very hard to focus. Let's see who's streaming uh, oxygen not included. Tomorrow we'll be continuing with Crestorio 2 and space exploration. Hopefully, well... According to the weather report, hopefully it won't be as bad. Uh, we got discount engineer. Build active cooling in your room. I would have to keep it a secret. I'm not joking. What do we got? Sandbox testing for petroleum boiler. Discount Engineer is doing the Great Train Wreck. Certain Death. I think I'll just play it safe and go with Discount today. It's been a minute. Okay, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints for Factorio if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, stay safe. Let me just make sure I save. Take care, Blas, and everyone else. Oh, okay. Dinosaurus Hacks, hello! Welcome to me. Hey, hey, hey! How's it going? How was... I presume you're doing a bit of money today? <laughs>